Well, did this work seamlessly? I hope so. Hello, the internet machine. On a rather rusty Sunday afternoon style. Very, very hot one here in Murray Bridge, South Australia. I'm putting on this weird accent again that I've been doing for the last three days. Not too sure why. There's magpies right here in this tree. They're also very hot. Let me just verify that we are live before we get too deep into what's going to happen on this stream. But um, let me just open up the machine of D's. We'll go from there. Verify that this is working before we start cruising. And I've got to put a hat on and sunglasses because I'm getting a little burnt here. Um, okay, looks so far the app is working. And if I go to my profile on the machines, let's verify. Um, my stream is running. Is it? Um, I haven't got the stream up yet, so I cannot speak. I can see the chat. I can see Daleski. I can see Daleski. You going live, bro? Yay! G'day, g'day, mate. Weird timing. Was just listening to music here. Not touching myself, I swear. Ignore the cam shows. Murray Bridge is a location. I thought it was a person's name. It's a location. I don't know if my stream's up, though. Um, why can't I see my freaking stream? Let me just make sure it's working. If it's working, tell me it's working. I'm gonna put this down. There's nowhere to put it, though. Um... There's literally nowhere to put this. I'll just hold it. Okay, hold on. All right, come on. Come on. Just wait to see that the stream is running alive. Okay, we're good. We're good? Audio's good? There's nowhere to put it, though. Yeah, good. Everything's good. Okay, so it looks like just Dale there in the chat, and that exposure's all whack. I'm going to put the chat away, because I'm going to be walking. I'm also wearing James's... We call them, well, well, these are board shorts, but swimming costume. And I'm also going to be wearing James's hat. James gave me a hat. Looks like this. These are the boardies. Looks like this. And we're going to cruise into Murray Bridge Town, where I'm going to go over the bridge, get a beer, and then maybe take a swim in the Murray. But I won't be looking at chat too much as we walk till we get to the spot. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. At this stage, I'd say I won't. But yeah, really hot day here, like stupidly hot. Ah, and James isn't here. James is at a birthday party, a child's nephew's family's birthday party. But I'm thinking, James, if you're watching, I'm thinking maybe when he gets home, he might want to come and join me wherever I am. I'm not even sure where I'm going to be, but maybe he might want to come down later during... I mean, it's a fair way till sunset, but I'm pretty keen to stick around. This is the last IRL stream uh, from South Australia. Tomorrow I go back to Sydney town. That reminds me, i got to check my flight. Um, so yeah, this is the last chance of a IRL here in South Australia. Budgery guys. And um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, we're a little rusty today. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, last night, we did, we did hit it pretty, pretty, pretty hard. What is this? Oh, nothing. Yeah, we hit a, um, um, well, we had a, we had most of a liter of Jack. And we had a fair crack of a single barrel select the rye most of that was gone too um fair point that was uh, three of us but i've definitely felt better <laughs> so this morning um of all the days that i've been here for the week this morning was definitely my roughest it's kind of strange i didn't really get much hung over earlier in the week james copped a few whoppers i didn't get anything really but then this morning i was like okay there it is bang all in one go all the hangovers. And so I'm a little, little shh. Yeah, a little rusty here. But then again, it's, you know, it's, it's been, I've been awake since seven o'clock. So it's like 4 p.m. now. So, you know, toughen up, princess. It's nothing to worry about. But I am looking forward to uh, launching myself into the Murray. Looking forward to a nice cold beer. I'm gonna get a sparkling ale. Hey, when in Rome, 
Cooper's sparkling ale, that's the plan. And then we'll try to find a spot where we can hurl ourselves into the Murray. Maybe on the other side of the river, because we've got to cross the bridge anyway. Maybe once we cross the bridge, we'll find a good spot with access, or, I don't know, we'll just take a wander. Take a wander and see. And I will check the chat periodically when we stop at certain spots, but as it stands right now, I don't like having my phone in my hand. It's hard to see with the glasses on and, you know, but, um, oh, I guess I should say this. I'll probably do this a fair few times. If you are watching this stream and you're not watching on DLive, what are you doing? Come down here to DLive.tv slash gives a minute. DLive.tv slash gives a minute. The letter D, the word live, then a dot, then TV, then gives a minute with a slash in front. Now, that's where I won't see your chat. <laughs> I just promoted it and I'm not even looking at it. But if you're chatting anywhere else, the point is, I definitely will not be seeing your chat unless you're chatting on the machines of D. So you could be on the Facebook. Now, I say this a lot and I still get comments on Facebook. Hey, some people that can't watch it on certain platforms are watching it on Facebook. Hello, you know who, but if you are chatting over there, it's not seeing it. Oh, look how hot this magpie is. No, look at this magpie. Oh, didn't see it. His mouth was like wide open, just uh. Yes, lots of animals will be dying today in this heat. 34 right now, 34 Celsius. And I think I'm going left here. Oh, perfect spot to chill for a moment in here and check chat, right? We're in a bus shelter. This is the ideal spot just to chill and check the chat for a momentarily break. Put your yahoos down. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. How about that for an angel? Let me just confirm. Hello, you specimens. Yeah, I'm a little, uh, little shook up here. A little rustified. Okay, so, I'm gonna keep pulling up the chat and uh, addressing things as they warrant. <clears throat> Let me, uh, every time you go, go to the DLive chat, you gotta refresh the chat, it's not very fun, it's not very fun. What's happening anyway on DLive machine? Aside from the obvious of some, uh, you know, it's not good times right now on the machine, is it? Uh, okay. Okay, everything's still fine on the stream ski. Um, so, Dale, I can see you, thank you, man. Davo, hey, Davo, what a do? How you doing, Davo? Good to see you, man. Jake skis in the house, good day, Jake, how you doing? And Dale, rye is tasty, I'm digging it. Yeah, we had the single barrel rye last night, and I um, think I can still taste it now. Okay, so it's damn quiet, which is not untoward. I see four viewers. Hello, you four yahoos. And if you are watching it off the machines of D, you're not on DLive, please do yourself and me a solid and come on down DLive TV, uh, DLive.TV slash gives a minute. You know the dealio. By the way, everything's hot here. This is a steel bus shelter and it is hot. People are probably thinking this guy's waiting for a bus uh, on a Sunday in Murray Bridge. No. That's like waiting for good things coming. Yo, CM SQ with the follow. Ho, oh, CM, thank you for the follow, CM. Now this makes you the latest giver right here on the channel. Now why would this make you a giver? Let me explain, you see, you're giving me your time to consume the content. Me, I'm a giver because I'm giving you my time to create the content. And so you see how we're both givers here and this is a two-way bus shelter, and you're the latest giver on the Gives a Minute D live stream. Thanks for the follow. What's up, Mind of Tron? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good day, Gives. Good day, Davo. Good day. Good day. Everyone's got very general, generous manners in the chat. Gives is live streaming IRL. Yes, I am, Daleski. So epic. Thank you, Mind of Tron. Shall we continue wandering on? 
I'll put the chat away and we will continue our cruise towards Murray Bridge Town. We've got to walk across the bridge, it's quite scenic. You're going to see some scenes. They're going to be scenery. Now, this is a small pocket. And um, I guess I'll tell you a little history of the town of which I know nothing about because it's not my town. That's a big piece of dog poo. I can tell you about that though. Oh, what about we're going to change the settings here? It's going to get dark all of a sudden here, folks. Back to about, about 2,000 to be good, I think. I think that's going to be optimum, optimum shutter speed. Let me just lower this down, get it a little bit more. How about that? Why am I whispering? No idea. Not sure why I whispered then. All right. I apologize for getting a little, oh man, dude. Spider webs on my camera just from sitting in that bus shelter because it's on the flip out screen, which the flip out screen was closed before I sat before I started this stream. So a spider landed on it, it's probably still on it, crawling around somewhere, flaming dingoes. Dude, I've only walked 50 meters and I'm already dripping with sweat. 34 Celsius, folks, convert that to the Fahrenheit machine, and you'll find out. How bloody hot it is right here, right now. Sun's beating down. No sun cream either. I didn't, I was looking for it. We had it yesterday at the, um, see, we went to the river yesterday. Actually, I probably should have streamed that. We took a, um, James has got a jet ski. We took the jet ski out and I got stopped by the cops too. Um, yeah, that was funny. I'll tell you that story because it's funny and I like stories. Um, so the cops pulled me up for... So I've never ridden a jet ski before. Never. James has got one. We took it out. I'd already had a couple of gentlemen jacks, so I was like, okay, if I'm going to drive this thing, I should do it now before I have anything extra. And um, as, soon as, I jet, as soon as I got the handle on it and started using it, I got out into the, um, I guess, the open part of the river. And I wanted to see what this thing would do, how fast it would go. Pushed it up to... Uh, 75k an hour with no glasses on my eyes were like just dripping with water so then i cut it and i was like that's that's fast enough right james tells me it gets to 115 um yeah I, that's dangerous right so i didn't want to push it so i let it off at 75 and then the water police just hit from the side just came straight over to me and um i thought i was going to get nabbed for speeding or something like that i guess there's a speed limit Probably should have checked that out too, but there isn't, and they, they weren't there for that. They thought I hadn't, they thought I didn't have a life jacket on, a life vest. Because the color of the one I was wearing, sort of like skin tone, like gray sort of matching sort of, not quite skin, but almost skin tone. And so, they said, oh, the only reason we stopped you is because we didn't think you had a life vest on, but I can see you do have, so uh, on your way. And I thought, okay. Just to keep the conversation super quick and, and funny, I was like, oh, I'll take that as a compliment. Hey, you're basically saying I'm buff as here. And then the, the cops like, or the water police like, well, yeah, but you gotta do a lot of work on your legs. Hey, they're, they're woeful. Didn't say woeful, but he said, my legs are, your legs are letting you down, but your upper body is buff. So that was an easy sort of diffusion. And then they went off, they on their own way. So yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed using it. Thank you, James, for taking me out. And, um, well, I know where the, see, see where we are right now, if you kept going all the way down this street, over the back, back up again, and then down, that's where we took the jack and we sat the other night. But then we went even further for jet skiing. And where we're going today is neither there, it's back up this way into town, across the bridge, into the guts of town to a bottle shop, because I'm getting beer. Hair of the dog. I don't feel too bad right now. It's a rusty one most of, this, most of the day though. Oh, cracky. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's the story. That's the sitch. And, uh, oh, there's the 4G towers. We should have a fine, fine signal here. 
Shouldn't have any problems signal wise. Here's a, uh, you call this a gas station, we call it a service station, even though they don't give you any service. Just get petrol there, gas gasoline, diesel. Now, hey, hello. What I've found recently, uh, well definitely the last few days in Adelaide, people see you and they think you're vlogging. I don't think live streaming sort of with a with a vlog set up like this is a thing. People don't, I mean everybody that stopped me has said, oh can I be in your vlog? I'm like, yeah what, well, it's not a vlog. But here we are, we're gonna cross the street. Yeah. I've noticed that just recently, Ma mainly because I haven't done, most of my IRLs I do is like, I guess they're streaming from Steve Ann style. Haven't done too much walking in, well I've done walking, but not like in like, I guess like suburban areas, even though you wouldn't regard Murray Bridges as a suburban area. Well it is, but it's definitely rural. There's some jet skis going down. Yeah. Another thing, is there anything you want to see? What would you like to see from this stream? What are some things that would interest you that maybe I could show you or help you or talk to you about? If you're looking on a map, I saw Dale say, I thought, I thought Murray Bridge was someone's name. No, it's a town. Look at this. That's your 4G towers. Three of the little suckers. That's giving me my 4G-ness. There's those three there and then there's also you can't see it, but there's also like, like way over there, there's two. These are the bigger ones, the, the better signal ones. Did you get that, right? Did you, did you get that? You want me to zoom it in? Let me show you. I don't know if that's even zoomed in on the right spot, but uh, yeah. That, those two, my Optus and my Telstra combined with the Live U Solo is what makes live streaming possible. That's the flux capacitor of live streaming. Anybody who doesn't use a live view solo and they want to IRL stream, yeah, you can. You definitely can do it. It's not very good, but there's, I mean, it's definitely cheaper to do it that way. Let's be certain about that. This is certainly an expensive way to live stream, but I want to do the best, the best I can do. I always want to do absolute primo quality of everything where I can. It's almost like a little, um, hey, check this out. Look at all these snails. What the hell? They're everywhere. What the hell's this? Snails here, here. Look at this. What is going on with that? Looks the best here though. Very interesting. Oh, that reminds me. I don't know if you want to hear this, but um, I've never seen that kind of thing before, by the way. I wonder if it's heat related. Last night, James was talking about some salt that he uses. Well, we're talking about pink Himalayan rock salt. Yeah, we're talking about pink Himalayan rock salt and how it's not from the Himalayas, but it kind of is off the edge, blah, blah, blah. And he brought out a buck, like a block of it, and I was licking it to see how salty it was. And then he says, yeah, that's the one I use to uh, clean my ball sack in the shower. No word of a lie. Oh, we also had a jam last night. That was cool. Dude, yeah, we started jamming at like, after one, we started jamming after 1 a.m. and we, I guess we got close to three o'clock before we pulled the pin. And we were already well and truly twisted by that stage, completely twisted. And it was like, yeah, man, you got guitars. Let's get it, let's, let's have a jam. Anyway, um, what was I saying? What was I talking about? Oh, li uh, live you, yeah, yeah. So you can definitely live stream without a live you solo. No, no, of course you can. You could live stream straight off your phone. Just go, bang, off you go. But I always wanna do, if I do anything, I do the best. And, and I love the challenge. 
I love trying to work out how to get things to do the thing that I want it to do. Sometimes I let myself down and I get a little aggressive about it and maybe, you know, things go wrong and I start getting a little bit uh, tantrum-y. Hey, we are human, are we not? I know I am, at least last time I checked. Wow, that was a strange circle of conversation. Live you solo live streaming IRL. Snails on a fence. Salty ball cleaning block of salt that I licked and a musical jam last night. <laughs> oh, what I can do. I always look for this stuff, right? When I'm live streaming, I always look for something like this. This is a tree. It's about waist height or sometimes I use a bin or a letterbox. I put the camera down on said position, then I can check the chat. Watch out for snakes. Seriously. In this kind of weather, they'd just be chilling. So I'll just put you down momentarily and then we'll check chat briefly. You're in a tree. How does that feel? Oh, there's ants everywhere. I'm not putting my hat down. Just gonna read chat. I oh, know we're not level. Don't get too cozy. We're not gonna be here for long. Just checking the chisel chat. <laughs> Let me uh, refresh the shizzle shazzle bazzle. Also, thanks for those that were here on the uh, Glenelg IRL stream. That was the second stream we did here in South Australia. And we drove back up here, that was cool. I still can't believe we had no signal drop. Like I watched the replay, we had no signal dropouts. For, like six hours we streamed. Six hours in Glenelg. Oh, sorry, in total, driving from Glenelg, well, hanging out in Glenelg and driving back up through the city, all the way up the expressway, not one signal dropout. I was like, what? It's insanity. In the chat. It's a two-way bus shelter, right on Delsky. Melly C with a follow. Yo, Melly. Thanks for following the Gives A Minute D live stream. Now this makes you the latest giver right here on the channel. Now, why would this make you a giver? Well, let me explain. You see, you're giving me your time to consume the content, whereas me, I'm a giver because I'm giving you my time to create the content. And so you see how we're both givers here, and this is a two-way gum tree, and you're the latest giver on the Gives A Minute D live stream. Thanks for the follow, Melly C. Excuse me while I do a bush hanky. <laughs> Get him out of there. Dayoski, sorry I'm not home right now. I'm walking in the spider webs. You're walking in the spider webs? Okay. Morning, afternoon. Hello, Melly. Good afternoon. Good morning. Leave a message and I'll call you back. Jet skis are awesome. Uh, Davo asks, which best restaurants in town that you've been to in Murray? We haven't been anywhere. We didn't, we didn't eat out. James is a great... Dude. James made the greatest charcoal barbecue yesterday. The chicken was, oh, actually I had some for lunch. Awesome. So yeah, we haven't eaten out. We haven't had to eat out. Wait a sec, that's not true at all. We ate at, um, we ate at Seafaring Fools. Hello, <laughs> Benny, and hello, Joel. Wow. Friends have a restaurant down in the Bay on uh, Broadway in Glenelg. And if you ever go there, get the Dirty Bird Burger. Wow, that was awesome. King B with the gift of the sub. Thank you, King B. Who'd you give that to? Melly, are you just joined as well? Melly, what a great day for you and me. Thank you, King B. Thank you for the ice cream. Mayunas, wow! I make mistakes all day, no one's perfect. You're a good dude. Thank you, thank you, King B, thank you. I am perfect, perfectly flawed. Dalesky, I like it. We were created to be unique. King B with the ice cream, another one. Mayunas, wow! Hey, that reminds me, end of this stream, chest opening, it's still, it's still Sunday. Great to see you again, long time since the last Tracer tour. Mel, ah, Mel Cousins? Is that who I'm dealing with, Melly C? If that's who it is, hello. Say hello to your family, Paul, kids. Hope it is, I'm gonna put the chat away and continue walking, but yes, it has been a long time between Tracer tours between well it's not between it's not between tours is it it's uh it's just a long time without tracer but uh we made up for it last night james and i we listened to tracer and we talked 
and reminisced. Fun times. Good conversation. And we are on the move again. See, that's the tree I was in. Always looking for that kind of stuff. Ah, you get a little glimpse of the bridge here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. This isn't the most zoomed lens. If I go from wide to the max zoom in the distance, you see the bridge. And it's going over the water. And we're going to be walking over that as well. That is the bridge. Now, is it technically Murray Bridge? I don't think so. Maybe it is. Could be. It's definitely a bridge in Murray Bridge. Is it the Murray Bridge? Maybe not. We need to ask a local, but everybody's inside or in their vehicles because it's so freaking hot. Like we've had days this week where it was like 12, you know, 13 degrees, 12, 13 Celsius. Today, 34. I mean, that's summer, right? That's what it's supposed to be here, 34. And certainly like where we are now, way inland, we're about 60 kilometers inland. Well, even, I mean, even Adelaide City is an inland city, if you like, it's not quite coastal. It's, yes, it's on a bay, the Gulf of St. Vincent, but it's not like you're, you're not getting like the south, the southerly cold winds that like Melbourne would receive. Certainly here it's center, sort of style, center of Australia kind of, certainly feels like it. Yes. And I like exploring, because I've never been here. I've never walked this walk before. We're doing it together. Oh, crikey, I just had a thought. Hopefully this, hopefully the bottle shop's open. It is a Sunday, and it's Murray Bridge. Didn't think about that. Can someone start searching? Where? We're the nearest liquor store or bottle shop. We call it a bottle shop. It's funny, isn't it? It's a, called a bottle shop in Australia, but you don't just buy bottles there. You can buy cans. You can buy cartons. You can buy goon sacks. You want me to you ask another Aussie what a goon sack is? If you really want to know, I'll tell you, but you can find out. Look at these sheep all herded into the shadows. Check this out. They're all just totally in the shadows. Be better if they weren't all together. Did you see that? We'll go in a little tighter. Be better if they weren't all hanging together because their body heat would be, you know, making, the, uh, making them all hotter collectively. But they got the right thing. Getting in the shard. Yeah, it's very um, country-ish here. Like, look, there's a, just a vacant lot here, and look how big it is. Look how big that block is. Yep, uh, a lot of things you could do on that one. Also, to the total douche on DLive who is trying to imitate other people by creating phony handles, we're onto you. We know you, and you're not fooling anyone, you big fat tool. Yeah. You thought you got away with it, didn't you? You stupid, stupid individual. You absolute foaming madman, frothing at the tip, absolute lunatic, escape from the asylum, mental capacity of none. You really are stupid. And we're onto you. So just a little friendly reminder, if you're gonna be a douche, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it when it happens. And that's you.
Oh, we got an information bay on the left. Look. We can read. Uh, we can read signs about the town. We'll do a little cultural learning. A little cultural. Uh, I was going to say administration. No, cultural education. Oh, there's more 4G towers in town. Sweet. Got a little bit of wind uh, brewharing. Oh, we've just walked. Look at that. We've just walked all the way down from here. That looks cool, eh? Hey? The angle of the street. Oh, this looks cool too. Look at this. It's the way this hill goes up, no through road. Very country-esque. Looks nice. Maybe we'll pull into the information bay and I'll... Uh, there's usually a park bench and stuff there. We'll check, check the chat at that point. Don't want to miss anything. Little friendly reminder, if you're watching on anything other than DLive, you know I'm not seeing your conversation. Mel, if it was Mel Cousins and you came over from Facebook, thank you. You've done the right thing by doing that. Now I can see your chat. There's a, uh, another service station. You can't get... Um, beers in there though. That would be one thing that would make Australia a lot more convenient, let's just say. If you could get like, you know like in a in a gas stop in America you can get like hard lemonade and like beers and stuff. Like, yeah you can't do it here. There's nothing in there. Oh this is a lousy information bay. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at this. You get a great view of the bridge. Check this out. Murray Bridge Town. Quite a long bridge. There's two bridges. The rail bridge. I'll show you the rail bridge, look. The rail bridge. And the footbridge and passenger bridge. Uh, driving, sorry, vehicle bridge. And I was thinking of either going on that side of that bridge, or maybe even checking this side. The bottle shop, what I'm thinking of, is kind of like where that big square building is, sort of. So maybe we could come down. I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. So what is this? What is this? The information bay? This can't be the information bay. It is. So I'm gonna stop and read this for a... Oh, there's a better one down there. Look at that pagoda, pag gondola. Let's read this first. Welcome to Murray Bridge. Millions of years ago, this land was covered by sea. And as climatic conditions... I'll read this to you, okay? I'll read this to you. Millions of years ago, this land was covered by the sea. And as climatic conditions of the earth changed, so the sea retreated to the coastline of today. Which the, which the mighty river, the coastline of today, which the mighty river eroded a valley to its mouth, exposing fossil remains of sea life in the river cliffs. Aboriginal people arrived in Australia 50,000 years ago, and for many, cue the sound of uh, didgeridoos right now, and thunder in the distant, if you, you know what I mean, like the, the Aboriginal noises. Dude, that's moving. Uh, they arrived 50,000 years ago, and for many thousands of years, a proud race of people known as the Nigarindaji. Nigarindji. Nigarindaji. Yuri. Nigarindaji. Uh, nation occupied these lands prior to European settlement. Captain Charles Sturt. Ahoy, me mates. He named our river the Murray. He wasn't very selfish, was he? He gave it someone else's name. Could have been called the Sturt. I bet there already was one. Hey, there's already a Sturt River. Hold on a second. Whoopsie. 
So he named it the Murray. And on the 8th of February, 1830, he passed this spot, which we now call Murray Bridge. Okay. A crossing point for the overlanders, Bonnie and Horden, was established here called the Turnoff until 1855, where a land sale in the hundreds of Mobilong saw George Richard Edwards and his wife Marianne be the first to take up land and establish a home for their family on the banks of the river. Marianne established an eating house for the drovers and by 1860 the name of the crossing changed to Edwards Crossing. Second paragraph, second column. In 1872, the bridge site was selected with construction beginning in 1873 and completed in 1879, which was the first bridge to span the Murray. Okay. Okay, so this is the actual Murray Bridge, bridge, bridge. With the completion of the bridge, the traffic increased. No shit, Sherlock. And the traffic increased, as did the township of Mobilong, and with the railway also crossing the same bridge. So I guess the rail bridge was the original one. Maybe. I mean, we'll have a look when we get down, when we get down to it. But, uh, so the port of Mobilong flourished during the riverboat era. Mobilong Murray Bridge, as it was known then, boomed. Oh, it had two names. It used to be called Mobilong Murray Bridge. The name Murray Bridge, this is for you, Dalesky. The name Murray Bridge was gazetted in 1924, so quite a while after the bridge went up. The bridge was completed in 1879. It wasn't until 1924 a new bridge was constructed for the railway line alone. Okay, so, all right, so... Can I put this up top? I can. So this here, this bridge... That bridge there is the new rail bridge. That would mean the existing bridge that we're going to walk over is Yeehaw original, old school style. If this uh, is to, believe, to be believed, why would they lie to us in a tourist information area? Uh, yeah, okay, so da -da 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 -da. with the population and vehicle traffic increasing, a third bridge was opened in 1979 to bypass the town. And that's Murray Bridge, Murray bridge East, which we're nowhere near allowing it to prosper and that's what we just read folks this little paragraph here but i am going to go down to this pagola thing that's in the shade and we'll sit there and i'll address the chat and then we'll set foot on the bridge we've talked about it we've seen it and now we're going to put our marks on it we're going to walk all over it i might just be the first person to ever have live streamed walking across murray bridge and you say i don't ever give you anything the first person to have conducted a live stream to the internet machine in all vastness of its glory on DLive, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Trovo, Twitter, Picato. Where else am I? No, no. I'm on no, no live. I'm on VX.com. I'm all over the shop here with my live streams. I, I pay for restream, so I just go through all of their streaming um, services or their outlets and just make an account and go for it. Yeah. Got to get a thousand LinkedIn followers before I can live stream on LinkedIn. I don't even know why they have live streaming on LinkedIn, but you know I want it. So here we come to said Pagola thing. Oh, beautiful here in the shade. I'm gonna put you yahoos down like this. We would also take off the hat. We'll change exposure in a second. I know it's probably not level, doesn't really matter for this sake. Chat. Got a good vista here, I'll show you the vista as well once we, uh, once we get ready to, to, to depart. Oh, what was that noise? Don't worry about it. It's probably just this thing settling, it's been windy here. <clears throat> yeah, it's just settling in the wind. Um, hello. Just while I get up the chat, hope you're all behaving yourselves out there on the internet machine land. Um, okay, it's a little bit, oh wow, I'm right in the center of, that looks cool. Except for the exposure. Let me go up a little. I see my head right on that little V. It's like a, my cowlick is just part of it. Okay, okay, let's go back up. Uh, <laughs> 
Glad you're having a good day. Thank you, King Bee. Like I said earlier, it was a little rusty to begin. And now I've dusted the rust off. I've dusted the rust off. I'm a little bit shaky still. A little, you know, a little shaky. Um, <laughs> Melly, it is you. Oh, cool, Mel. How are you, Mel? Good to see you. Thanks for coming over to DLive. Yeah. We might have had Dre on here today, but he never called me back. Bottle shop is still open. Thank you, Davo. And Hendrik. Hello, Hendrik. How you doing? BWS is 23 Adelaide Road. I did see the BWS. Okay, so I'll go to the first port of call. Yeah, I know where the first one is. It's good to know. We've got options, but thank you for that. Linz, hi Gibbs, how are you? I'm well, thanks, Linz. I'm well. I just farted. Hey, Hendrik. Thank you for the lemons. Whereabouts are you, Gibbs? As in which state? I'm in a state of hungover. Now, I'm in South Australia. South Australia, the town of Murray Bridge. Let me just show you this while we're here, because there... Actually, there's a... When we get out of this shade area, you'll see it better, because there's a nice arcing vista here. Gotta love a good arcing vista. So, um, for those who are watching not on DLive, do yourself the solid. Come on over. It's not difficult. The channel or the platform, so the website, for those that don't know the, the term platform, the website is called DLive. It's just the word live with one extra letter, and that letter is D. It stands for decentralized. D live. Then there's a dot TV. D live dot TV. And then you put a slash and the word gives a minute. My channel name. Or you can just go to D live and you'll find me on the stream on the. There's not many streamers there. It's pretty small. You'll find me there. But if you wanted to just type it in. That way, when you have comments that you want to address to me, I'll see them. Because, like, I'm only looking at the DLive chat. Now, I could pull up my Restream chat. That would be an idea. But then I'd have to have both DLive and Restream up on my phone. And, uh, no. I do not want to do that. So, let's mosey on. Put that back. Shit shut. Put this on. Put these on. And I'll show you this vista here of the two bridges. Check it out. Oh, I've got to change the exposure. Oh, we're going to be a little bit too bright there, my friends, if I don't change things. We'll go up here. Well, that's down, dude. Okay, we're going to go back up to here. Okay, so check this out. So that's the new bridge, the new... That's the new bridge, the new rail bridge that went in in 18, 19, something, 40, 20, 30, April, August. This is the existing or the old bridge, which went up in 1920, 70, 30, 28 green. And they lie together, sort of. Yeah. I can't remember when the bridges were constructed, but uh, you just read the thing with me. Do you remember? If I was asking you what dates they were? No, you wouldn't. So we are about to set foot onto Murray Bridge Bridge. It's a lovely welcome sign across the street. I'll show you that. Oh, there you go. Murray Bridge opened in 1879. The the, and this is the first bridge to span the Murray. It says it right there. Okay, so we are learning. There's the welcome sign. Look. Welcome. Come one, come all. Welcome. And this is what the bridge looks like as you enter said bridge. That does confirm it right there. Murray Bridge opened 1879. First bridge to span the Murray. The River Murray. Okay. And... On we go. Okay. Well, I just walked through a spider web, so that means no one's walked on this bridge for a little while at least. Using my deductive uh, 
sense of my powers of deduction, even in a hungover state. Now, we are going to have an issue if anyone's riding a bike along here, because this is stupidly narrow. Check how narrow it is. Look at this. Like from here to here is about that distance, and that's the distance all along. So if anyone's, uh, you know, fanging along on a bike, mate, I'm going to have to like sort of lean over and provide space for them, eh? There's another one on that side. Maybe I should have gone on the left side. Ah, well. More spider webs. And here the bridge does a sweeping bend and from the end of the bend, the end of the bend is here, the bridge is dead straight. Check this. The bridge is straight from here, all the way down. That's the straightness of the bridge from here. Bam. I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be the tourist, eh? I'm doing the tourist thing for you as well, you know? I've never been here before on the streams like this. I've driven across this bridge, but I'm playing the tourist. Play along with me, why don't you? Just join me on the tourism trail. What's down below? Okay, there's animals up further. Be a good place to pull some billies, mate. <laughs> So I guess we gotta pick a spot too. We could, ah, oh, from up here we'll find a spot where we're gonna swim for sure. Oof, definitely, we're not hurling off the bridge though. Cause I gotta put all the gear down, you know? Don't know where, I, I guess we'll work that out. Pigeons. The distance we've walked on this wide brown land, rail bridge, yonder. If anyone had an accident here, I'd be hammered. It's like a speed camera. So, I bet they thought that was a speed camera. The cops with a, it's like cops are, cops of speed cameras look like vlog cameras? What? What? Yeah, there's all uh, cattle and crap down here. Take this, little white horses. Hello! Oh, they're cows, man. Look at that shadow. That's me. down here. Hello. No. You got it? That's probably a little dark, but so be it. Cowses. Just hanging out there going, yep, we exist. We are cows. And we do. Now, we are about to enter over the water. Most of this bridge thus far has been over land. And we're about to cross over water. The very water which we'll be uh, bathing in not too soon. And I got a little story about the water quality as well. We talked about this last night with James's father-in-law. And apparently there was a time when this river was so clear you could see through to the bottom way back when, right? It's like, like 1950s, but they've, so they've put in a series of locks to stop the water from running all the way out into the ocean, which is down at the Kurong Peninsula. And that's given 
with all the fish in here, a bigger chance to survive because they're essentially trapped. So the fish have just thrived these carp and they constantly keep stirring up all the silt on the bottom. And that's why the river appears brown. Now, technically, it's not, it's not um, polluted, but it just looks, it looks a little hideous, but the water's clean. It's just murky and muddy. And I will show you the murky muddiness in all of its glory in a moment. Oh, I'll show you now. So here's the color of the water. There's the old mate on a jet ski. Yeah. So you see the color of the water. It's brown. But from up here, we can kind of spot maybe where we're going to go and jump in. It's definitely parkland up there. So uh, houseboats and stuff. Yeah, you get a good vista up here. Jet ski, hooligan. That was pretty cool. Good timing for me to get a shot. That was cool. Yeah, um, so I'm looking, I'm looking sort of, I don't know if you can see very well, but underneath the rail bridge and along the bank on that side, there's like a bit of a grass clearing. There's a jetty and stuff. That's got my name on it. That's got my name on it. Definitely has. Everybody's still behaving themselves. Imagine I got back to my chat and there was all kinds of filth and... Now I got moderators, but imagine... Imagine if you yahoos were all having a big brouhaha in my chat and I didn't even know you were all fighting and fapping and fighting and arguing and... You know what, that reminds me. I should just check. Oh, I gotta reload everything. No, I'm gonna do it while I sit down. Hold on a second. Give me a second here to. I forgot to turn on my um, my tracker. We good. We good. You get a nice vista anyway. Oh no! I do not want to drop my phone up here. Oh no! I'm on a bridge. If I drop it, hold on a second. Velcro. Opening with one hand, very difficult. While holding a camera in the other. So, we've pretty much walked this entire bridge. And nobody else is doing that on either side. Cool, cool, it's probably because it's too warm, right? Pretty much getting to the end right here, look. Man, I was deep in my nasal passage then. I'm filming that way and I'm just going to town with a big pick right there, I'm not going to lie. I was picking my nose. I was deeper than the deepest bore tunnel you've ever heard. And I still didn't get the goods. Oh, we got to walk up a hill. Oh, hang on. Perfect spot for chat checking. Look at this. 
absolute gold chat checking spot. But you, oh, hang on. Uh, uh, spoke too soon. Doesn't quite fit on there. That's um. Bugger, I thought this was gonna be absolute gold, but it just won't fit on there. Hang on, maybe if I can wedge it. Maybe up there. Yeah, that works. Not really. Yes, really. Be positive, man. Let me just get some exposure. Corrections. Whee! That's hot. It's really hot here, folks. Little hat rack there. Check this. It just sits on there. Oh, what did I pick that up for? I had it all perfect. Now I gotta. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right. Have you been behaving yourselves? If I find out you guys have all been fighting, we're gonna turn this car right around and go straight back home. D Live Machine Ski. While it loads. Hello. Man. Okay. It's like a nice day. Oh wow, this dude, there's some degradation in my stream. Heavens above. That's no good. Well, it looks like a nice day. It is lens. It is a very nice day here. It's a very nice day. Chat is clear, thank you, Hendrik. I stopped to see two comments. Okay. Why did I bother? I don't know. Okay, 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 let's go. Let's roll on. Well, oh, more spider webs. Can you see them? Dude, they're everywhere. Spider must have been there must have been a spider on that bus shelter. And then it got onto my basically it climbed all over my camera. And leaving a web everywhere. You can't see it though. Yeah, there's a left-hand turn to the bottle shop and to Sturt Reserve. Mr. Charles Sturt, I do believe. We're walking upward towards here. Hmm. Boat ramp, food, electric barbecue, and toilets. Check. Start reserve. That's where we're gonna head. Via the bottle shop. I might get two. I get two long necks. I'm gonna get two. It's gonna get. They're gonna get hot though. Not if you drink them quick, mate. Yeah, true. It's a bit of wind. I don't like the wind. Not a fan of the wind when that comes up. Here we go. Wait. Bottle shop was down there. No, I think it's this way. I hear music. I think there's the BWS up there, but anyway, we'll cruise through. We've got to go, we've got to do a circuit around. Cover band. I was going to sing over it, I don't want to get dinged. Now, we are in Murray Bridge Town, folks. This is the first for the stream. Murray Bridge Centre. Oh no, I know where we go. We take a... We, we drive through the left here. I know exactly where we are. 
We could even walk through here, I think. Yeah, liquor legends, bingo, bango. Sorted. This joint's new. James was telling me that just went in about eight months ago. Still not finished. Pretty impressive though. Big pool, there's a big pool there as well. All right, so I probably won't be able to film in here. Sometimes, sometimes they're a bit funky with that, but we'll find out. Let's turn this down. Ah, oh, sweet, there we go. Oh, there's only one sparkling ale left. No. I guess I get one of each. Oh shit, I gotta get my wallet out. Hey buddy, I just saw one of those in there. You don't happen to have two sparkling ales, do you? If they just, yeah. Tasting going on there, have you? <laughs> I wish. Oh. Uh, rearranging. Oh, okay. Um, I think he's going to, yep. Gone yeah, oh, yep. so I'll just take the two of the sparkling hours. I'll put this one back. Can I get a little brown bag for yeah, that? That's cool. There we are. Beauty. Thank you so much. Sorted. Now, I happened to notice the bit rate then as I was in that store. Went down to 1,500, and that's not a good bit rate. Is that a thing that's happening here? It shouldn't be. We should have pretty good. From what I could see, there's towers everywhere in this town. Um, how's it looking at your ends? Either way, when we get down, we'll assess it. Assess it. Got two, two sparkling ales. Don't know what you could see in there. I mean, I had to respect the, uh, even though they didn't say anything, but I just assumed that they wouldn't want me to film. Just put it down. It's always safer just to do it without expecting anything or just, you can ask, but I just figured I'd just put it on the side anyway. Wouldn't mind finding a, um, a water fountain too, cause, uh, Patch Desbro. I guess there'll be one in this park.
Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about that bitrate issue, to be honest. Sometimes when that happens, I've noticed that the Optus modem will lose... There could be a tap down there. The Optus modem will lose its connection. It'll just say, like... Um, like, network not connected. There'll be a yellow little exclamation point. And I've noticed that sometimes. Not all the time. But definitely sometimes. So here we are, Sturt, Sturt Reserve, Stuart Reserve, Sturt, the Bunyip, the Bunyip. Oh, who was, yeah, James was telling me about the Bunyip. It's a water dragon, uh, a water, um, like a dinosaur or something. It's, it's like um, a freshwater Loch Ness dragon or something, it's Aboriginal folklore. Google that shit. Google Bunyip. B-U-N-Y-I-P. Hey, there's a waterfall over here. Not lying either. Check it out. Wow. Even on a hot day like today, this thing's still flowing. I guess it's all recycled. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. The things you see, the things you know, the things you do. Really looking for a um, water fountain here. Before I drink, drink some beer, I want to put in what I just sweated out. I guess there'll be a, a place along here somewhere. Pretty nice park. No one around though, that's kind of strange. COVID man, COVID. Of course. Not seeing any water fountains at all. No, nothing down that way. Bugger. Oh well, just keep cruising until we find one. Just keep cruising, mate. So we're gonna cruise along here. I guess there's a toilet block up there. There'll definitely be a water fountain near there. Okay, a lot of family activities there. Still haven't seen a water fountain. Usually they're like, they're on these like cycle paths and walk strips and stuff. And I just haven't seen a single one. But I know that there is a bathroom up here, so that'll, that should prove fruitful. Oh, cracky, there's um, modern day pop music playing in the distance there. Something about uh, living in the house and the, uh, the birthdays and the trees, koalas, wombats, sing a ba da 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 da. No copyright ding. Ding 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 ding. Dong dang. Now we're good. Still not a single water fountain.
I mean, where is the water? Seriously? There's a trailhead. Yeah, not a single water fountain. Look at this, starts here. It's pretty nice. Would love a drink of water though. Seriously, is there not a single tap here? That's outrageous. Well, here's bathrooms, I suppose. Man, that's lousy. No, that's not a bathroom. Have you ever seen this? Like, somebody like this, where there's not a single tap? I'm gonna get away from the families if I'm gonna park up and have a drink and a swim. I'm still looking for that elusive water fountain. Nah. I guess they're still building it. Congratulations. <laughs> what a whopper. Oh, do I see? No, thought I saw a water fountain. The more I think about it, the more I want to drink. Hey, like before I was like, yeah, probably could go without. Now I'm like, no, nah, I really want one now. Okay, so we're gonna keep walking along here anyway. And at some point, Now, there is a bathroom up there, surely. Let's go and have a look at that. If I've got to go on neck from a bathroom, I will. Skate park. Skate parks normally always have water fountains. Don't they? Yep, skate park's got one. Sweet. You can scope the park too. A bit of a mini ramp there in the distance. Some flat banks. And a scooter. It's got a little... Oh, wow, look at that tight section at the back. Wow. Oh wow, it's got a bowl at the back here too. It's pretty sick. Let's get a beverage here. Oh yes. That's awesome, look at that. Oh fuck, that's hot. Still hot. Water's like too hot to touch.
Let's have a look at the bowl. Two bowls. Transferable. For sure. Tight section here. That'd be fun launching from that section onto that flat wall at the back there. Let's go and have a look at that. Look at me talking like uh, skateboarding. I'm not, uh, not even doing it, but I know what I like. This transfer section. Look at this bit here. Maximum speed. Bang. Coping bonk. Launch off. Down the flat wall. Cool. Little section here too. But uh, those days are gone. You know what I should do though? We got a bench here. I'm gonna just quickly check that bitrate issue and I just wanna see if it's been doing it more or not. So let's just park up for a second here and tell me if the bitrate in the chat, just put if the bitrate's been going haywire at all. And I'll just check it, check the chat here. And I'll also check the bitrate. Wow, that chat's way back. The last comment I saw was from Lynn's, which state are you in? That was ages ago. Okay. Chat is clear, Hendrik. Liquor legend did show up in the search, but gave no closing time. Okay, cool. Thank you, Hendrik. Thank you. That's the one we went to. It looked all good in the grog shop. Oh, was it, it's probably just at my end then. Interesting. The bunyip is a creature from the Aboriginal mythology of southeastern Australia, said to lurk in swamps, billabongs, creeks, riverbeds, and waterholes. Go take a swim. Dustin, that's what the plan is, dude. We're definitely gonna do that. Murray Bridge is currently 35 and a half degrees. It's, it's hot, dude. It's, it's hotter than hot. It's hot. Hey, Wolfie, thanks for following the Gives A Minute D live stream. Now this makes you the latest giver right here on the channel. Now, why would this make you a giver? Let me explain. You see, you're giving me your time to consume the content. Me, I'm a giver because I'm giving you my time to create the content. And so you see how we're both givers here. And this is a two-way skate park. And you're the latest giver on the Gives A Minute D live stream. Thanks for the follow. Jeeper dude. Hey man, hey Jeeper, how you doing dude? Anywhere, nowhere is looking. It has done it once since the grog shop. Oh, thanks Hendrik, thank you. Okay, so I would say at that point, because I did check and the Optus was not disconnected, but I would say maybe sometimes you get like interference from like city towers and stuff, like different buildings and crap. This is all I can think of, man. I really don't know is what I'm saying. All right, let's go and uh, drink beer hey, and have a swim. But I want to show you this tight little section first on this little, um, the edge of the skate park. There's a nice little, sort of like a, it's, it's a vert wall, but it's only like two and a half feet tall. Check this out. Super fun, smack into this. I don't know why they didn't put a platform on it though. It's kind of strange, but little tight little section here. Be pretty fun. All right, you know what else would be fun? Ice cold beer and a swim. Hell yeah. And if you need more water, bingo bango, that's your spot. Those kids on scooters had every chance to have a chat. And the moment you walk away, they yell out obscenities. They could have easily spoke to me, asked me what I'm doing. Hey man, can you film this trick? Whatever, no, nothing. The moment I start walking away, they start yelling out shit. Oh, cameraman, bro, camera. Go over here, camera. I was right with you, and you said nothing. Kids, kids, kids. Alright, let's get, let's get ourselves in that water. Ass up. So we're gonna pick a spot here. Spot's gonna be 
Ideally not with families and stuff. I want to have my own little spot if I can find it. Dude, there's a bunyip cave here. Look at this. That's ridiculous. Four G towers. Some fight for ha ha -ing. Now, some uh, domestic situation. I'm sure they'll resolve it. Sometimes I think, what's my duty there? To document or to just continue walking on? I don't know. A bit of wind here all of a sudden, what the hell? Do we have to put up with like hideous wind? It's been still all day, man. All right, well, we gotta deal with some wind, we gotta. Looks like this is kind of the end of it, I guess. There's another set of families there. I don't want to get into their way. Oh man. Can you, can you feel this wind? It's hideous. What is this little thing? What is this? A little jetty here? Dude. Totally, sw I'm totally swimming here. What is this? You see this? Look at this thing. It's out of the, it's out of the, um, the wind. Dude, I'm sitting here. 4G towers right there. This is the spot, folks. This is the spot. What a spot it is, too. I guess the concern... The concern is how deep it is here. That's my concern. Bit rate is still charging along fine. Take all this crap off. So, this is cool. I did not expect to find this spot. This is the best spot yet spot. Put you here. Cool, cool, cool. So, we'll tilt this on the bit of an angel. Hello. Hello. That's all right. She apologized just for going past. That was kind of strange. Okay, so let me uh, talk to the chat first and then we'll hurl into the water. And then we'll crack a beer. Um, I got my chat cable here. So we're gonna have constant chargeage.
It has done it once since the grog shop. Okay, so still nothing new in the chat. Interesting. I'll refresh that just in case it's the uh, hideousness of the DLive chat. And then, this is all sopping wet, hey? I'm gonna hang that up to dry. Now hang me out to dry. Uh, Dalesky's back. Hendrik, yo, yo, Dugski. Is that R. Wiley's Park? Um, I don't know. I wonder why they don't put water fountains in shady areas. That's a good point. They have them in some urban cities here. Hey, Gibbs and all the Gibbs. G'day, Doug. How you doing, man? Yo, Hendrik. Yo, Dugski. Okay, I'm back. Dalesky's back. Dalesky. Hey, Doug. Cohen the Hasbarian. How you doing, man? Clothing optional section. We, well, actually, we are. Hey, ah. That's going to be interesting. Splinters. Can someone um, put the, um, what's the thing again? The dashboard. Hendrik, can you put the dashboard link in the chat? I'm gonna, I'm gonna M tag because I'm gonna drink beer. Deep water. Been getting wet on stream. Yo, Dalesky, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, you know what I could do? I could just be sitting in there drinking, right? Well, hang on. Okay, so first of all, let's M tag. Are we, are we level, H-Man? Are we freaking level? I think we are. It's hard to see. Oh, we're not level. You little level spatula. That's not level at all. That's level, though. That's level. Come on, sorry I just got here and it seemed like some scooter kid might have heckled you out of their skate park. No. Yeah, if someone can put that in the chat, I'd appreciate that greatly. Just like I'd appreciate this beer. Very much so. Do I have a, um, a bottle opener? I don't have a bottle opener, but I have another bottle, and I have definitely things here that can act as a bottle opener, for sure. Alright, so we're going to be okay. Before I crack it, can someone do that for me in the chat? Put the, the dashboard, the dashboard, Henry, can you put the dashboard link? Can't open it until you do that. I really want to drink. I also want to get in the water. I wonder how deep it is though. I'm not keen on diving at all. I must experience a bit on homebrew at some point. Well, these aren't homebrews. These ones are, I just went and bought these. And they're not that cold either, that sucks. Can someone please put the dashboard link in the chat? I can't access it here. Like, it just doesn't work when you go to do that. Thank you, Hendrik. Thank you, man. Thank you, dude. All right, thank you so much. Just going to the dashboard here. Going to live. Are you gonna do it on the side? Going from family friendly to mature tag. Mature audiences only. And save this shiz. Save, did that work? Super clunky. I don't know if that worked. D Live, you make this super hard. Trying to do the right thing and you don't make it very easy. Save. Save details, success. Okay, cool. You know what I'm gonna do, Hendrik? I'm gonna keep that bookmarked. Oh no, I already closed it. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, Hendrik, thank you, man. 
All right, let's pop this top. Cheers, Azizas. Bottle cap is litter, goes back with me. All right, let's get in the water. Beer is there. <laughs> so nice. It's like that perfect coldness. Not too cold. Not too warm. Super cool. There's a warm patch just here though, that's kind of strange. What was that? Sit here and drink beer. You know I can. Hey, absolutely beautiful. Really? Totally. How's it going? You don't mind? Yeah, man. No, you guys can join me, hey. If you want to. You're gonna get? Yeah, you're gonna jump in. Yeah. Actually, I didn't even check that, but I didn't touch, but I didn't check. Yeah. So I just jumped in and then I was sort of over there. <laughs> Can you touch? Probably should have. I tried. I didn't actually try. Yeah. I wouldn't be diving. I'd just like, yeah. like belly flop in and then see if you can touch it. I should have done that. I fucking can't even close the swim. <laughs> I'm not jumping in unless I can fucking touch it. Perfect spot for a swim. Oh shit. Hopefully a carp grabs my Hopefully it's your tiny. Oh. How are they doing it? They just jump in. Casually. You, you, One go, man. You, right, you, like a band You just gotta go. Yeah, you gotta just do it. I'm worried about the deepest thing. Yeah, I'm on the coldest. <sighs> yes. <laughs> How's the exposure? I probably could change that, right? A little bit less. Oh, that's more. Wrong way. <laughs> they pack the billy. Welcome, everyone. Got to pack a bill, a bong at the billabong. Grimsky, how you doing, man? It looks nice there. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's really nice. Water's just a little slight, just a little chill, but it's good. What's a billabong? Billabong is the ed or the part of a river that not the actual river. It's like it's like the river goes a bit further around and it doesn't run. It just stays still. It's like the offshoots. I get backwater. <laughs> That's cold, eh? Uh, I think it's my smoke. 
It's just a bit refreshing, hey, like that first jump it is, is like it's refreshing but it's cold, that's the problem. Just fucking <laughs> Cohen says it means a body of water, a lagoon, but also a tobacco water pipe. Is that what a billabong means as well? A billabong is an estuary in a river that has no flow. Yeah, bingo. It's the it's like the section that's not moving. Oh, he went straight down. Wait, did you touch the bottom, bro? <laughs> you just slid like half the way. Oh, I wish you could get both in your clothes. Cool. Wait, what the fuck? Did he touch? I don't know. For reference, this is as deep as it is here, man. Touch. It's not that bad. Did you touch the bottom? Yeah. Oh, no, but I'm scared of it. Yeah. yeah. When you did that pencil dive, did you touch it all? No. Nah. Nah. Yeah, okay. Nah. Must be pretty what? deep right there then. It must drop right over there. Because that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for a fucking drop. <laughs> How's the beer? Dale, this is one this is my favorite beer in this country. Yeah. And I love it when I get one. Where, where are you from? No, I'm Australian. Oh. Yeah, but I, I live in Sydney. Yeah. Oh, real? Yeah. But this is my favorite beer. Whenever I buy beer, I always either buy this or the stout, the one in the yellow label. But in a, on a summer, hot summer's day, it's sparkling ale the whole way. I touched the bottom. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> How did you touch the bottom? probably probably I think I felt a bit of wetness in my I said Billy. Yeah, yeah, pack a Billy, mate. We're all narcs of some sort. <laughs> Cohen, you, you've had this beer, have you? Where, where are you from, Cohen the Hasbarian? What country are you in, dude? You're California, oh, okay. I love tor torpedo, torpedo IPA. Cooper's Sparkling Ale is a great one. Yeah, Hendrik, it's it definitely is, man. It's oh, beautiful. Really, really love it. I haven't had one for a while, actually. I've had the stout most recently. Yeah, and we've been drinking Jack. We really got, really got too much last night. That exposure is too high, hey. Wrong way. You got tornadoes right now in California? There's tornadoes, is there? Crikey. Are they affecting you at all, the tornadoes? Get off there. Do you see the like the footage on there? Yeah man, I'm I'm live streaming right now. Yeah, yeah. That's the picture and that's the chat. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Oh, so this is like Discord, eh? No, this is Twitch. No, nah, th well, it is on Twitch, but um, this is actually DLive. But I, I use Restream, and I stream it to DLive, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook.
Facebook, Twitter, oh. everywhere. Oh. So it's all it's all going out to all the places. That's the case. Yeah, man. Get to enjoy the Murray River. Hell yeah. Um, well, that is up there. I've been wondering. Up there. Those what? Those three towers? No, no, no. Just like a track over there. Is that like a speedway track or some shit? There is a track, isn't there? Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't see that before, but there is definitely a track. This is five. Mm. It's good to get up here again. I actually walked from up there, but on the road. I didn't come like this side, but yeah, yeah I didn't, didn't see it. But those are the towers I'm streaming with. That's what's giving me my signal. Fucking Hell yeah. That shit fucks with the heck radiation Oh, not a tornado. Torpedo double IPA. Ah, you're talking about a beer. How come, Hendrik, you said thanks? I heard about the tornado. It's not good. You're thinking, you're, you're mixing up words there, Hendrik. Not a tornado, a torpedo. Oh. When you're in bed. You should show the video. You want to see it, man? Uh, no, I'm just saying you look like this guy in a video I've seen. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like having a hit. It's that drink too. No, it's no, a BB. Yeah? He's like, you can get head when you're in bed. It's my company as well. I did, bro. When, it, when you came back up, it looked like Lloyd, bro. Yeah, it looked like Lloyd. Lloyd Christmas. How hot is it now? Cooper's is more common than a tornado in California. Stop confusing me. Are you talking about the tornado beer or the tornado tornado? <laughs> the torpedo beer. Yes, yes, yes. That water, when you dive underneath it, smells like absolute shit. What temperature we got right now? Dude, it's still 34 right now. 34 degrees. I'll be getting back in there very soon, actually. Oh, this is another good time to remind you, if you're watching this stream and you're not on DLive, I'm not seeing what you're saying in the chat. So if you're watching on Facebook or Twitch or Trovo or Twitter or whatever it is, and you're chatting, I'm not seeing it. you got to come down here to DLive if you want to chat. If all you want to do is watch, then that's fine. But if you want to chat to me, DLive is where it's at. Yeah, you read it wrong, Hendrik. You had the tornado in mind. Yeah, yeah. Music. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You can't hear the music. <laughs> what was that? Is that commercial music? Ah, uh, dang it. Just watching the news. Over a hundred killed in Kentucky in tornadoes. Oh, crikey. That's no good. So there are tornadoes as well as torpedoes. That's why you do it here. Are you back flipping? Oh, I'm trying to encourage you. We just saw someone over there do it. Oh, yeah. You don't have the body mark. Facilities. 
I don't know, I don't know if it was the Murray River I came to, but it was like 10, maybe longer, 15 years ago. And this place is fucking great. Right. You, you Kiwi, man? No. No? It's got, got a little, little New Zealander going there, I thought. There's so much bird shit on there too, I'm like, I don't want to really sit on that. Look at that. Yeah. I'm not strong enough to do it more than once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many dead in these tornadoes then? A hundred, sorry. Over a hundred already. Shit. Wow. Do we know anyone in Kentucky? I didn't see it. I was looking at land prices in Kentucky back in the early 90s. I always wondered why it was so affordable, because it's tornado prone, yeah? Dang. What about ticks? That's what, the, apparently there's gnarly tornadoes right now. Yeah. hundred people already dead. What the fuck? What about Texas? I would love to live in Texas. This is the animals. And the gun laws. <laughs> <laughs> I like hunting. Mm. Fair enough. I would totally go to Charlie, you live in Tex uh, in uh, Kentucky, is that right? Crikey, dude. So, are you, are you safe, man? What's going on in, in your neighborhood? Really, you've got so tornadoes are happening right now for you. 
Damn. What a madman. Meanwhile, we go to Louisville has a sick skate park. I actually saw that on the um, I saw that on the uh, Tony Hawk gigantic skate park tour. It was good. Tennessee cop some of it. Hope the distillery is okay. Yeah, I hope the distillery is okay. You go back and Hey. Swim after the boat. Like, this is a GTA mission, boys. We gotta steal the fucking canoes. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. Something like that probably would be too expensive. Charles, Charles, not now. Last night. So you had tornado. You had tornadoes last night affecting you. That's heavy, dude. Yeah, good point, Hendrik. So weird for tornadoes to happen in winter. That's what I would have thought, right? Hope the bullet distillery is also good. Dale, Dale with the sobering words of reality. Dale says, life is meant to be lived. No one is promised a tomorrow. Wow, this is true, man, but you know, nobody wants a tornado either. The Bullet Distillery in Kentucky. <laughs> Honey girl, hey Ben on and give us how you doing? I'm doing well. Doing very well. Sitting here, this is the Murray River, a town called Murray Bridge, a place called South Australia. Not my home state. Well, used to be, no longer, and I'm back here just visiting. And it's 34 freaking degrees that's hot in Australia and I got a cold beer swimming in the river live streaming what could be better I'll tell you what could be better if this could be coming in the water with me I need Jill outdoors to like hook me up with a waterproof streaming rig Straight on the grass. It's just straight on the grass and die. Matthew, you're here. Very bad. Did you do that? Oh, did you get? Did you actually cut yourself, man? Yeah. Shit, dude. It's alright. Uh, fish, fish or cord? It's not that bad, though. Yeah. As long as the hook's not still in there. <laughs> 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 Wait, that's what it's like. <laughs> Bullet is your favorite whiskey at the moment? I haven't had Bullet whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Let me, um... Dalesky, that's a big beer bottle? Crikey <laughs> Moses? No. It's just, it's a 750. That's like, that's just two beers. Usual, in Australia, beers are usually 375. That's like a little, that's just two beers. Well, although this is a strong beer, so this is actually... This is three point. This is three point four standard drinks. We call it in Australia standard measures. James is it James is out right now. It's got a message. I'm going out for sushi with the clan. 
No sweat, dude. Just let me. I thought James might come down, but he's out. He's out getting sushi. I guess he's. I wonder if he's in town. I guess he's in town. Hey, um, do you guys know where, where we are right now? Like, this park? Oh, this is stuck, is it? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I saw the sign, yeah. Cool. Is it Achilles, bro? Uh, no, uh, no. No. I made a bomb out of the booth. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and neither do you know what, what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> What is it? <laughs> Me? I'm just <laughs> Our standard bottles are half that size. Our standard bottles? Oh yeah, yeah, Hendrik. Yeah. So this is two stand, two standard uh, volume size, but in the sense of this beer, it's more uh, heavy. Honeygirl, I'm not going to lie, that's huge compared to the bottles here. Well, I mean, we also get the smaller bottles, right? The so this this is two beers, but we also get one beer if you like. So the, this is one option, and you can get the other option. 24 ounce, man. 24 ounces. Oh, oh shit. Dude. Dude, I... Dude. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Oh, Ouch. What part of your head did you hit, man? <laughs> How did you do that, man? Do you, guys, do you guys see that or hear that? He smacked his head on the... Uh... Random. Yeah, you did it, man. You're a <laughs> Dale, you're drinking Venezuelan rum? What's it called, man? Very tasty. Kiwis get 11 ounces. So, so hang on, what's, what's, um, no, no, a, a fifth. How many ounces in 750, how many ounces is this? We don't measure in ounces, so I don't, I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what a, what this is in ounces. Hendrix drinking vino. The gentleman Jack has been enjoyed too much, dude. Last night, James, if you're watching, you can clarify. Last night we drank almost the whole liter bottle of Jack, and there's not much of the single barrel select rye that was supposed to just be for a taste. We drank most of that as well. Fair point. There were three of us, but yeah, we drank a lot last night. I was dusty all day. Charlotte, Charlotte's watching. She said she's going to be watching elsewhere. She's not on DLive though. And that, that dick that came in with the, her handle, that's not Charlotte. Charlotte Rose 3, that's a troll. It's Adrian Banks. Metal Luna, thanks for the lemon, man. How's it going? I'm doing well, dude. How you doing? Thanks for swinging by. 12 ounces is a standard can. Okay, so a standard can. So this is this is a 24 ounce then. This is 24 ounces. If that's a standard can, 12. I saw the Facebook post. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see it. I'm gonna go and check it now. I didn't see her post. It's like a drug set. No, you go like this. Fuck, drugs like smooth hair. Put a just be right there, bro. And, 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 and,
At least get in the water before you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at the Charlotte's Facebook, Hendrik, I didn't see a post that, I didn't see what you were referring to, or I think you were referring to, but I just noticed my phone isn't charging now, this is a brand new cable as of like two days ago, and it was charging, and now all of a sudden, no. did I just mess up a cable, it's just not getting the charge. I think I need to get a new phone, the iPhone 7 Plus. It's too dated. Where's the D-Live machine? Yo. I saw your Facebook, my, my, uh, so, so because I'm streaming on Facebook, it came up as a post, yeah, 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 true, true. Oh, no, 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 the Jack, I know what you're talking about, the Jack, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry, dude, I'm, I, like I said, I'm a little dusty today, I'm, I'm a little rusty. I figured that Charlotte 3 was fake, that's why I didn't follow. Well, I actually modded Charlotte 3. I modded her thinking that Charlotte's back. <laughs> At that point, the troll wins, right? The troll won momentarily. I'm gonna say this, says Dale, once. I hope okay. I hope it's okay with Venom. Free Charlotte. It's okay with me. That troll was Charlotte Dandelion. At this point, yeah, I got you, Hendrik, sorry. At this point, I would like to know what happened. That's all. And I said it at the end of last stream, just let us know what happened. Like, well, actually, it's not even any of our business, really, but let Sharla know it at the bare minimum. You know, if anybody should know why someone got banned from the platform, you'd think the person that got banned from the platform would be that person, right? So Sharla should, she's entitled to know why she got banned. And therefore, then she'll tell us, but we don't know. Did they do anything nefarious after getting modded? I mean, I didn't check all that. I, I, I don't know. I don't, they might They might have. I didn't see anything. I wasn't even live anyway. So Charlotte 3 is a troll, that's, that's correct, Doug. It's probably, um, probably Adrian Banks. Yeah. 
Wait, where the fuck's Max gone? That's the last we see of Max, eh? He's, He's gone. gone. He's gone. Hey, <laughs> man! <laughs> <laughs> I can swim. <laughs> Oh, you swim out and grab that litter out there. What's that white thing floating around? Too far? Good exercise, too. Well, they should make like a little ladder so you can actually pop it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I should check the mod uh, log, Metal Lunar. That's a good point, actually. Did they do anything nefarious after getting modded? I probably should go and check the log, hey. Because you got a good point. They could have done some dubious, like they could have, they could have deleted everybody. Yeah, good point. How do I do that? <laughs> You know what happens though, the second you, or not the second, but after like two minutes of being out, you get dry and then it warms up and you yeah, like, yeah. get back in. I need to get back in. Yeah, it's still 34 <laughs> degrees right now, so. How, how hot is it still? 34. <laughs> and we're in the shade as well, like. Yeah, we're in the shady water, so it's like still cold water. Ooh. Madeluna, no idea. Yeah, I don't know how to do that, man. I mean, I probably should do that, but. I guess if anybody finds out that they've been deleted from my channel, it wasn't me, it was Charla Rose number three. Love and respect, Benon, always. Thank you, Dalski. Cheers. You know what else I discovered? So this battery that I'm running all this gear off, this is too big to um, to take on a plane. It's over the watt hour restriction. So you got anything under 160 watt hours is permissible as carry-on luggage on a plane uh, all batteries have to be carried on you can't check them so this one that I'm using right now I actually mailed or I shipped across beforehand but this same the same company that makes this battery they're called Oz Power Banks AUS Oz, Oz, Oz Power Banks they also make one that's half the like the same thing but half the size and that does come under the watt hour limit of 160. I think it's like 120 or 130. And so what I should do, I won't do it now because there's no point, but next time something like this pops up where I've got to go into state for something and I want to live stream, because like, let's be clear, none of these three live streams I've done here have been why I'm here. I, this is an addition, right? I had to do this, this thing with James. That was the priority. Once that was done, that's why I stayed longer. I could I could have gone home on Friday and be be done. I stayed longer to do some live streams, but if I'm going to have to ship a battery into state every time, it's not going to work. So I'm going to buy. Well, not I'm not going to buy it, but I'll always remember that there's one that you can get, which is exactly like provides all the same functionality, except for a less time and therefore less watt hours. So this one right now, we've been streaming for how long? We've been live for. Two hours and fourteen minutes, and I've only I've only taken I'm at eighty three percent right now. So there's like heaps left. But the one that I would buy to travel with probably would be half that. Which is still heap like still heaps of time, right? Like, do we need to stream for two hours? Probably not. Do I like to? Yeah. And will I do it again? Of course I will. Uh, Hendrik, have you spoken to her since then? I did, I, I had a chat to her this morning. I was sold on it being her when they followed me and I even followed back. Yeah, 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 me too, yeah. Let's keep certain discussions private, y'all, it's best. You're right, Dale. They've been enjoyable though. The streams have been enjoyable, thank you, Doug. It's, I mean, look, thank you. It's, it's worth shipping the battery over for this. But I mean, um, I always say this, even though I feel like I got this stuff down, I'm still learning. Like, always learning different things, right? Different, like how to do this correctly. And one of the things is, 
your streaming backpack, you gotta be able to travel with it, right? You, you gotta be able to fly with it. But as far as keeping conversations private, my only thoughts, and I guess we did touch on this um, at the end of the stream the other day when we were driving back up from Adelaide, we don't know the facts yet. We still don't know the facts. So we don't really have anything to add anyway. Like, even if you wanted to talk about it, we don't really know what it was. So, until someone comes in and says, this is what happened, then you, we, it's all speculation. But that's not to say it's not shit. Like, I, I think it's crap what happened, but... And the way it happened, that's crap, but... Does anyone have the urge to push me in? You don't need to. Ah! Who did that? <laughs> Actually, that's a stroke of luck because I gotta take a slash anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want a warm bar. It's right here, man. This this area here for some reason just got warm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Um, so like, as in all the gear or just the camera? The camera. Yeah, yeah. So the camera itself, uh, that's like about probably two and a half grand. Fuck. Yeah. But all the other gear. You can get a GoPro so you can go underwater. Well, I, yeah, I thought about that, but the problem, because I'm live streaming, you've got to have like, you got to be connected to the 4G tower. Yeah. And the moment, like that'd be working right now here, but the moment it went, it just would disappear. Yeah. So it'd be the gang, same. Gang. <laughs> you, yeah, man, address, talk, talk to the cameraman. Like ad address the- Hey, yo, what's up? Oh. Like, whatever. Does. So what's going on, everybody? There you go. <laughs> He's a big camera. Today. Do right. you stream a lot? Yeah, man. I've done three streams here. He's got a lot uh, of- Yesterday followers. and- Thursday or Friday. No, what's today? Sunday. Too. He's verified too. Saturday and Friday. Stop it. Yeah, Underwater man. Good, stream. Usually, Underwater stream. Usually, it's a bit dull. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> hey, don't, don't put water in there. No. You just dropped a drop, a singular drop, man. It's so hard to get fishing sometimes. Hey, X, can you see me? Do, do you love yeah, me now, bitch? <laughs> What part of Adelaide are you in? Central. Uh, in the city? Yeah. yeah. I used to live in Glenelg, then I lived in Henley. Oh, yeah. And then Allgate, which is a big change. Allgate? Yeah. I live in Mount Barker for a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. We, we all grew up. Oh, you've been streamed for two hours. Yeah, today. Two hours, 19 minutes, 40 seconds. It's too soon. Are they asking you who you are? No, like, not necessarily. They're like, yo, what's up? <laughs> oh, you can't. What's up, lad? <laughs> No, that's pretty sick. I like. Ugh. See you, lads. Enjoy the river. Are oh, you bailing, are you? You guys want to split? Oh, we're not. I'm not just too bad. It's so dank and sweat. But we don't know where Tom's going to be. I do. Should be done. The road's done. Oh, but yeah, but it was done at 5.30. Yeah, but Mum's just going to turn it off. We've got to wait. I can smell the roast cooking from here. You're going for a bike ride, so I don't want to go for a bike. Does the streaming backpack have a kind of repeater or a booster? Nah, nothing like that. Oh well. Yeah, it does. It has my live you solo. But that's not a booster. Maddie, I got so scared I thought you were about to jump. Anger like 
<laughs> Reveal yourself, can'ts, spelt with a Q. Is that what you were talking about? Can'ts with a Q? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get deleted or some shit, eh? Probably, yeah. I've never seen it spelled that way. Quants. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you won't get, it won't get deleted, it will just say, are you sure you're going to post this? Yeah, because you're like scrambling. <sighs> For real, yeah, as you get older. This is going to dry up. See, it's warm. <laughs> I'm it's drying warm. warm now. It's not warm. <gasps> Alright, do that. You know how you can just like... No, you need an upper... Hendrik, these moments are the best in IRL streams. Look, I've got a B on me. <laughs> now it's not. Get humble, yeah, Hendrik, I agree, hey, like this kind of stuff. Way better than sitting, sitting at home in the chair. <laughs> we will start to break out. You want to take one more dip in your mouth? Madalena, because I asked because I've always wondered if streaming is just relied on the internal antenna of the phone. Okay, so just to break it down super quickly, I have a device which combines two signals. So the two signals in Australia, the two biggest signals, we've got one called Optus, one called Telstra. You can see, you might be able to see the towers, they're in frame on that hill. Those three 4G towers are giving me the signal, but I've got two providers and they get bumped together in one device. So you asked me before about like a booster. I guess it kind of is a booster, but it's not a booster, but it kind of works the same. And so I'm relying on, well, I'm paying for two signals, but I'm relying on one whichever is the strongest. So that device sends both of them up and then the, the, the cloud chooses which one's the strongest and that's the one that you see. That way, if we're, if we're moving and one drops out, the other one's still working. See you guys, nice talking to you, hey. Have a good afternoon. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's how it works. In a nutshell, that's kind of how it works. So you got like, and all the, the batteries that I'm talking about is just to extend the life of, uh, of everything. Like everything has, like if I didn't have the battery pack, I could still live stream, but it would be limited to, actually let's think about that. If I didn't bring, if I didn't ship this battery with me, I would have, I would have probably three hours. So the live view solo, the flux capacitor, that gives me about three hours worth of internal battery. So right now, even after two and, whatever, two hours and 20 minutes or whatever we've been live for, I haven't touched any battery on the Live View Solo because I've been running off the battery pack. So once the battery pack's depleted, I still have at least two to three hours of the Live View Solo. And I also then, so the, okay. <laughs> I prop, I like talking about this, so I'll do it, I'll do it properly, right? I'll do it in detail. I've got two batteries. One battery is the big battery pack. That powers the Live View Solo, the booster if you like. From that battery pack also powers both modems. So the Telstra and the Optus, they've also got power. They've also got their own internal battery. So if the power ends, you still got internal battery maybe for three or four hours on those as well. That battery pack also charges my phone which is sucking right now because it's not charging. I don't know what's going on with this, but this cable just doesn't seem to work now. That's great, I bought it two days ago and it worked and now it doesn't. So that's that, but that's how it does work. The other battery pack, I can show it to you because I've got a double of them. So I've got duplicate, one backup and one that I'm using right now. I'll show it to you exactly what it looks like. The one that I'm not using is this one. This is an anchor battery pack it has two USB outs and what that is for is to power this camera so the GH5 definitely has its own battery but this thing gives you around about four to five hours worth maybe six hours of life using the open viewfinder and microphone and everything or oh, just the GH5 as it would be that's that's all that's for I've got the one that I'm using, which is, I can't show you because it's plugged in, and a backup. 
So if ever on a stream, and it did happen the other night when we were getting fuel, when we were in Mount Barker, Mount, no, Braidwood. We were in Braidwood and it just, the stream just said, who took all the 4G? It wasn't the stream, it was the first one dying. So I just plugged the other one in and off we, off we go. So I got two of those, so I get at least eight hours, maybe nine hours just with these for the camera. If that goes flat, single backup battery just to put it in and go, okay, well, we've gone through eight hours worth of streaming. I'll chuck in a battery and we'll finish the stream. The other thing to note, all of this battery power is supplemented if we do a Stevan stream. So if we start the stream driving, all of the power comes from a separate source. And the moment we stop the vehicle and start moving around, I start plugging this in. So I could drive for, I could drive for six hours and do a live stream and then take this all out and start roving around in my backpack and I've still got another virtually 10 hours worth of battery. We haven't actually done that yet. We have, I mean, we've done those sort of streams where we've been driving and then we've gone on to battery power, but we've never gone longer. I mean, if I drive around like on the East Coast, if I do an IRL stream and we're driving, I usually drive for an hour or two and then we cut onto the battery and then within the next say six or seven hours, the sun sets and we wrap the stream up at like when it's dark and that's like a total of about 10 to 12 hours and I get easily enough power for that. But I really do, I really do enjoy, like, yeah, I, I enjoy working this out and getting it to work. And I, I've, I've enjoyed the, the process of it not working. Because what, it's kind of strange, but I knew that it could work. Like I knew that there was a way to have this to work. And I just needed to sort of like logically, and, and when I say work, I also mean like in super, super good quality, because I'm such a perfectionist. I, I'm not gonna do it if it's gonna look rat shit. I wanna do it perfect. And I was like, yeah, I wanna keep working and, and thinking about, and like even things like overlays and like Tidy Labs alerts and stuff, I had to sort of work all that out for IRL and for regular streams and, St and Steve Ann streams. So I like that challenge. That's what I'm saying, I like a challenge. I love a good challenge. I've also got an LED light with its own battery, which if it gets dark, we turn that on, right? A lot of devices, especially Apple's, don't like non-OEM cables. I mean, that's true, but like lightning cables, they're a dime a dozen these days. And it did work. I don't know why it's not working now. So what's my phone charge at then? What are we at? 79%. See, this is killing me, dude. It's gonna die, hey. That's not right. Maybe I'll try unplugging it and plugging it back in and maybe. No, that didn't make a difference. Maybe I'll try a different port. I've got two USB ports on this sucker. No. It's just the cable's just not giving power. Mayonnaise! Wow! No. Wow! Seriously? That's shit. Have you tried turning it on and off again? I haven't actually. Do you know what? I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn my phone on and off again. So I'm gonna not see the chat for a while. Got him. Power off. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Beer is finished. I enjoyed it. Turn this back on. And also, another beer, mate. Well, that'd be a great idea. Well, here's one right here. What a great idea. But I don't have a bottle opener, but I do have. There's heaps of places I could pop this here. Um. I'll just do it on the edge of. Oh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna open this bottle.
I found an actual bottle opener. Well, it was metal that was shaped like a bottle opener. And such forth, the bottle is open. Always, this is the best way not to litter. You take your bottle cap, you twist it, you squash it, you slide it, you drop it. Then it's in there. And the other one's also in my backpack. So you never litter. Okay, so now I'm turning this back on and I'll plug it in and see if it gives any difference. No. No. No charge. That's really, really strange. Sucks balls when that happens. Because now I've got no way to end the stream later on. I've got no way to charge this. I guess we could check if it's the battery pack. Oh shit, the battery pack's off. Dude, the battery pack's off. What? No way. The battery pack's off. So we're running, so we're running off power. This is a good example. We're now running off power. The the live use solo is powering itself. That's the first time that's ever happened. Let me uh, turn it back on. Hello. I'm gonna turn this back on. That was weird. Wow. That's the first time that's ever happened. Okay, battery pack's back on. Still got nothing. I got nothing. I got no charge. I'm gonna try a different battery pack. That's a good test. So this is this is the backup. By the way, that's the second bottle cap which I'm gonna put away in there. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> that's a long fishing rod. Yeah. Look at this, a big long fishing rod here, folks. Um, let me just turn this back on, see if, I'm gonna plug it into this back up and see if that makes any difference at all. I don't think it should. I don't know why it would, but it might. Also, cheers. What kind of fish do you get in here? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he understands me, that's alright. I think it's just carp. Carp. Okay, let's try this. Turn this battery pack on. No, not even that dude, it's the cable. Cable's rubbish. Dude, I literally bought this two days ago in Port Adelaide. And now, cable says no. Okay, okay. I'm gonna invest in, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna invest in a expensive braided lightning to USB cable. And that's how it's gonna work. But as it stands right now, I'm reluctant to look at the chat because that's gonna take my battery. I'm down to 75%. And it's gonna die, and I need it to end the stream. It's not fair. It's not gonna work. The solution would be to get a new phone. <laughs> a new phone which has a battery that lasts longer than 17 minutes. That'd be the solution for me. Then I wouldn't even need to keep it charged, right? I wouldn't even need to plug it in. I also think that lightning connection is pretty temperamental, right? That lightning cable? Or maybe there's something wrong with this cable. Maybe I'll give it a clean or something? Maybe it's got gunk on it. Maybe it has. Maybe it's overheated in this 34 degree day. No. No. 
she's not getting a charge. Oh! It's got a charge! Dude, it's got a charge. Okay, don't touch it. It's charging. It's charging. Temperamental charging charges charges. Now open up D Live. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna leave it on the table. Jesus. I'm gonna refresh the chat. But it is charging. It's charging right now. Okay, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm not I mean I'm gonna touch it, but I'm not gonna move it. Um back in the chisel chat. So what have I missed? Let's go back up a fair whack here while I've Reveal yourself, Quants. These moments are the best, I remember that. Metaluna, I asked because I always wondered if streamers just rely on the internal antenna of their phone or external antenna in the bag. Okay, so that's when I went into the to this conversation about the live view solo and the different things, and that's how I got distracted. You can do what you've suggested. You can definitely IRL stream just with your, your phone battery, for sure, uh, your phone antenna, definitely. Me? I'm a sucker for quality. I want to. I want to do it as best as I freaking well can. So I don't do that. Cohen, I love that the word is a term of endearment down there. Can't. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, I just moved my phone. What did I do that for? I see. That's what I was asked, wondering. I didn't know the correct term for it. That sounds like a good setup. Yeah. Thanks, Matt Luna. It is pretty, I'm pretty happy with my setup, for sure. Free Shyla, <laughs> cut of meat, cut of meat, cut. Pertsky, Pertbeer, how you doing, man? Cheers, I didn't see you come in, Pertsky. Free Shyla, cut of meat, cut of meat. Poker is a fascinating game. Oh, then I jumped forward, Cohen. A lot of devices, especially Apple, don't like non-OEM cables. I only just realized what OEM stood for. And now I've forgotten. Original. Original electronic manufacturer. Something like that. Good to see you, Pertsky. Andrek, good to see you. I really again, Ben. Yeah, thanks, Bird. Yeah, cheers, man. Yeah, I um I knew I'd be up here, so I really wanted to stream and made every effort to do it, and here we are doing it. There's a spider on my on my phone. A little, a little spider. Charles with the ice cream. My Eunice! Wow! Thank you, Charles. I find that my non-OAM cables work sometimes, not others. Yeah, I, I mean, that's my, maybe that's what I'm experiencing. Should have borrowed that car and skateboard. Turn that cable around. If it fails, turn it around again. Yeah, yeah. Fishing for carp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, carp? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's fishing for carp. Uh, internet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Live, live. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> good, good. Original equipment manufacturer, OEM. Yeah, yeah, true. I only just realized what that was not long ago, actually. A skateboard is the best bottle opener. Now underneath the, the base plate, between the base plate and the truck and the hanger, there was a little gap there on, um, I felt like it was on gullwing trucks. Yeah, yeah, you could crack it there, yeah? Not that I'd encourage drinking and skating, but uh, Rhodesy did, Pat Rhodes. I don't know if Pat's watching. This was the logo on his skateboard, Omni Skateboards, Pat Rhodes. Yes, he definitely enjoyed a Six pack of sparkling ale per session. <laughs> Funny times. I went down to West Beach and paid my respects to the old girl. It's funny, it's been over 10 years and that ramp looks exactly the same. Aside from some of the timber on the platform that's been like worn, everything else looked almost identical. And I did get a little touch of nostalgia where I, I missed it. I was like, yeah, okay, this was a big, big part of my life and now it's not. It's kind of sad, hey? Yeah.
He seems like a character. I mean, I've got to give props to this gentleman. If I was in a country that I didn't speak the language, I probably wouldn't walk up to someone drinking beers, live streaming, and sit right next to them and start fishing. But he did. That's got to give props to that, eh? He's like, can't speak the language, but he just did what he's doing. I like that. I mean, I can't jump in now, and I want to, actually. I, pretty soon I've got to take a slash, and it's getting warm again. I'm probably going to hurl in there, and uh, I can't jump in because this fishing rod's right in my way. As you can clearly see, it's right in my trajectory of hurling. That's all good. Cohen, I was going to ask, why would anyone want to catch carp? I think it's more of a, um, like, not to eat. Like, you're not doing it to provide for your family and eat food. It's just like fishing. The carp in here is a, it's like the cane toad. It's like a bit of a, they want to get rid of them. They're a threat, or not a threat, they're a problem. So the idea is to sort of take them out if you can, and fishing is one way to do that. There's not, not a lot biting though, I'm watching the, um, the thing, the floating, the little floaty and it's not doing anything. I asked this question yesterday and I didn't get an answer. It wasn't on stream, but I was asking it to, to uh, James and also Miranda, his daughter. When you, you see these birds, there's birds, well, you, I don't know if you can see this guy here. That's a seagull, right? This is a seagull. We have, you can hear them, yeah? Seagull. But we're not at the sea. We're inland. So are they just then called land gulls or river gulls? Because we're, we're not near the sea. I mean, sometimes I think too deeply on the, on the subjects. Hendrik, I still have not caught a single fish on a rod in my whole life. I've caught plenty of crabs from crab pots though. Right, right. I caught crabs in Hamburg. Yeah, but uh, different crab there. Uh, what bait were you using on the reaper barn there, uh, Perdsky? I'm assuming you caught crabs on the Reaper Barn. <laughs> if I was going to grab his line and, and twist it. <laughs> Hey, Comptech in the house. G'day, Comptech. How you doing, man? Cheers, buddy. Nice to see you. Comptech says, I'm 2,000 miles from the coast and we have seagulls. What are they doing in there? What are they doing in land? Seagulls, like there's, there's a bunch right there. They like, go to the ocean, like go to the sea, get the food, live. It's like a penguin, not anywhere near snow and ice. It's like, dude, you're not a, you're a long way from home, seagull boy. Comtech, thank you for the ice cream. Mayunas, wow! After the interaction, I realized why they get caught gill netting bluegill in our suburban man-made pond in the park. What did I miss in that conversation? They eat garbage, are they garbage gulls? Good point, good point. Very, very worthy point. Good point. It's really nice here now that the wind, though there was a little bit of a breeze before, a bit of a zephyr, and now it's gone. Ooh. <laughs> yeah? It's like a, um, I think it's a bee landed on the water and the fish are just coming up and getting it. You see this? Yeah?
No peace. Nothing. No peace. Nothing. <laughs> there are trash herons. I saw a docker about it. Ah. Uh -uh. Trash herons. They live off like waste. Dude, I'm just noticing, and I'll show it to you before we leave, but there is two power points on this dock. So if you were streaming, and you wanted to stream here every day, and you didn't have any of the battery packs that I have, you could just plug in. There's literally power points right there. <laughs> you could get power, and you could sit here. Dude, if I lived in Murray Bridge, this would be my, um, my bedroom. I'd stream here all the time. Uh, we have some lakes here in Kentucky that have been overrun with carp and the conservation officials will take out boats. I know what you're going to say, they, they electrocute them. They do that here too. They send out electrical pulses and then they, it, zaps, it zaps all the fish and then the ones that come to the surface, they siphon out the carp. It's like a, it's like a shock technique, but they're not dead. They take out the carp and leave everything else. Yeah, apparently it's a real problem here. Yeah, special shocking devices. Snaps key, Cohen. Hi, uh, Charles. Sorry, man, Charles, not Cohen. Snap. Yeah, we're still we're still charging here. Good. They were drinking the sludge that drips out of the bottom of a trash bag, then feeding off it. Wow. Sounds like Cletus in his boat, the slack jawed yokel. Cletus, the slack jawed yokel. Are you on the Torrens? Persky? Nah, nah, nowhere near there, dude. I'm like, like, I'm like six, I'm like 65 kilometers inland. I'm on the Murray River. Caught it. Holy shit. I think he got snagged. It's gonna fling up. Snagged. I might have to go for a swim here. Definitely snagged. Oh, I was gonna jump in and get it. He's got it, he sorted it. Yeah, so Persky, uh, Murray River at a place called Murray Bridge. There's a little set coming in there. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice evening. Yeah. i got to give it to that guy, hey? Like, he, he doesn't speak any English, and yet he sat here with me, didn't have to talk. I like that, hey? It's, um... But I am busting for a slash, and whoopsie! Yeah, the whole time... The whole time he was fishing, I was like, dude, I could take a slash, like, urgently now. So I'm glad he said, uh, ta-ta, and I could, uh, ruin the fishing for him. Ironically, there's fish jumping. I'm, I'm not lying. Fish just jumped probably 25 meters away from me. Not when he was fishing, though. Ah, oh, that's really relaxing here. And also very warm in this section. I don't know why this section's warmer than everywhere else. Where's that bird poop? Here. 
Oh, no shit, dudes. Those guys that were hanging out, they threw their bottle in the water. I can see it. It's so massage. <laughs> Much better. So you are driving home? No. No. I'm walking. I walked here and I walked back. And it's not home, it's James's place. It's cold when you get out. Like the the water temperature is a little chill, but the air temperature is still 34 degrees. So I'll be a little cold for a bit, then I'll get back. I have live streaming. Speaking of taking a slash, BRB. No worries, Henry. These are James's bodies, though. Persky, I thought you were in Adelaide. I'm Googling Murray Bridge. I've heard of it, but I know nothing about it. Yeah, no, nowhere near all world. Pretty far out of Adelaide. I wonder if it's gotten colder because it's taken a while for me to warm up here. Are we still 34? Let me just, uh, I don't want to do too much movement of my arm. Uh, are we still 34 degrees? Keep it down. It is currently 33. We dropped it, so it's 33 degrees still. <laughs> I just haven't warmed up yet from that swim. But we will, we will walk back. I mean, I walked across the bridge. We'll go. We'll do the full walk back together. Of course, we will. Ducks coming through the scene here. Let me check Willy Weather. Yeah, thanks, Henry. I mean, I feel cold now all of a sudden. Are they barefoot skiing behind that boat? It seems like something Aussies would be into. Uh, no, they're not barefoot skiing. They were, they were water skiing, but not barefoot. 
I mean, barefoot skiing, we that'd be fun, right? Man, are we gonna get rain? I'm gonna just hang on a second. Let me check this. dark well not really but like like in a scale of dark being like if black was a hundred the clouds would be 60 60 black they'd be 60 Danny's <laughs> what I'm suggesting what I'm alluding to is that there's dark clouds over there which was makes no sense because today's been completely clear of clouds no chance of rain but I look that way and it looks like it might even be raining over there. That's, I guess that's heading west. It's still 34.7. That's hot. At least humidity is only 13% with a south-southeast wind. South-southeast. So I've got to get my bearings. West is sunset. South. South-southeast. Hang on. Fuck, what am I doing? West. East, north, south, southeast. That's not where the wind's coming from. Thirty-four point seven here Fahrenheit. Cohen, that's cold. Radar says you will get rain. Oh, how far? How far away, Hendrik? Shit! I gotta walk home in the rain. Shit! When does the rain start? I mean, it looks gnarly back there. Ah, oh, she. Could be an interesting evening, folks. Could be an interesting one. I'm reluctant to get back in that water, to be completely honest. But I do have to take another slash. I guess I could just go half in. Huffin, huffin, huffin and puffin. Should we, are we, should we angel, there's no one here with me. Should we angel this more around so you guys can see more of the lake or the river? Like you don't need to see this hideous body. Hey, you want to see the, the body of water. That's probably a bit, a bit better of an angel, right? Yeah, you don't want to see my fat rolls. <laughs> Too late for that, man. You know what I'm saying, though. You know what I've just done, though? I put myself in the side of frame where that makes you look fatter. So, fat it up. <laughs> Deal with it. I just thought you guys would get a better. Like, if you saw more of this, you'd be you'd enjoy it more. I mean, you don't need, you don't really need to see me. Let's be honest. It's a small rain band coming from the east. Looks like not much more than a drizzle. Oh, okay, good, good, good. That's good to know. Put a nipple in it. So what else has been happening? More accurately, how's things going? On DLive, I guess is what I'm, 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 that's what I'm really asking. Is it as bad as it sounds? Is it as bad as it feels? Hendrik, you had some pretty far out conversations last stream. Are, are you still, like, are you still that annoyed at everything or if you calm down I'm, I know last stream you were pretty you're pretty vocal about your thoughts and how it's all going are we still uh, what was that noise oh, it's probably just this jetty settling you know it's pretty windy here it's settling yeah are you still um, I'm not trying to spark it up again but I'm, I'm I guess I'm just trying to make conversation and that's the most topical thing that's happening like currently right now It's from the west. I always get my east and west mixed up. Yeah, okay. 
I've been avoiding D Live out there. Out there. Been avoiding D Live out where? Oh shit! TKK9090, what? How you doing, man? Little cheers there to the lens. Hey, peeps, how you going, TKK? It's been a hot minute since we've seen you. Good to have you, man. Welcome back to the Gives a Minute D Live stream. Cheers, is is. We're sitting here in Murray Bridge, South Australia. Enjoying life. I've calmed down, but yes, I cannot stand this fake D Live equals D Love shit. Yeah. I mean, it, it is it is pretty phony, right? Like, there's no denying that. There's good things coming, though. It's ridiculous, Pertsky. Uh, Charlotte has been banned. At best, she was calling out the shit of trolls. I mean, at, at best, we need to know what it was. I don't know what happened. Was it... Was, but Hank, there's... Did she get banned while on my stream? I didn't know that. If if that's, I'm not I'm not sure of this. But did that happen on one of my streams where she got banned? That's interesting. I mean, if that's the case, then is it something that I had, like I facilitated? Oh, by the way, there's a train. That's the first train I've seen. You can't see it, but. The bridge that we crossed and we showed you the train bridge. There's a train going across it right now. Dude, the um, air uh, light has changed rapidly. Are we level, H-Man? Oh, you might be able to see the train in the, on the foreshore now. That's an absolutely mammothly long train. Holy balls. Wow. TKK with a ninja gainy. What? Crikey, TKK. Thank you, man. Dude, nice IRL stream. Thank you so much, man. Thank you very, that's very kind, TKK. You, you're not here very often, and you come back in for a one-off banger, and you're like, you know what? Here's a Ninja Gini. Bam. Dude, thank you. Thank you so much. That's very kind. Very kind of you. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. That'll pay for the battery I, I shipped across tell you how state feels. lines. I just Very want to tell you how it feels. I just want to tell you how it feels. I, I live maybe 175 meters from the train tracks. You get 150 trains a day. I mean, what I'm seeing here is a is like a shipping container train, so like a tra um, transport train. Oh shit! TKK Ninja Gini Diamonds. Diamonds, crikey. Got to jump in the water for a guinea? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Ninjet. A ninjet and I jump. A ninjet and I jump. That's it. You know, you know? Let's not get carried away here. A ninjet equals jump. Thank you, TKK. You got the Ninja Gini, the diamond, three, four, five, five diamonds. Thank you, man. Very kind of you. How are you doing anyway? Are you are you are you still hanging out on D Live, or are you just like, I'm only popping in here willy nilly just to catch up on your your stuff? There's a few people, Pertsky, only coming here to see Gives a minute. I mean, I'm writing this thing to the bottom, right? I'm writing this thing to the, to the end. Feels like that might not be far away, but yeah. 
We get double stack container cars on mile long freight trains on 20 miles from the LA Harbor. Los Angeles Harbor. LA Harbor. Los Angeles has a harbor? Really? I mean, LA. I didn't know there was a harbor in, in Los Angeles. I mean, I've been there as well, and I, what? To the, to the, to the west is like Santa Monica. Where's the harbor in LA? Is, I mean, that, I guess it makes sense. There'd be an inlet, right? Like an estuary. Never even, I never knew that. What a wonderful world we live in. <clears throat> what was that noise? Ah, probably just this thing settling in the wind. TKK, I'll support you, Gibbs, but I'm not giving any more money to DLive. It's pretty much a lost cause. I mean, you, you're basically speaking... Oh, dude, there's a wave coming in here. There's a wave coming in off this boat, which would be rideable. You could surf this. There's a left. Where's it gonna break? Nah, it's not gonna... Nah, my bad. But it was breaking. Anyway, um... I don't have a surfboard anyway, but there's a novelty wave that might work here if you were really keen. You'd have to be super keen on an absolutely fat long board. And even then you'd be pushing it. And this is gonna hit the bank anyway. Um, so, so TKK, just to read your comment again. I'll support you, Gibbs, but I'm not giving any more money to DLive. It's pretty much a lost cause now. There, un there is unfortunately, that is a growing sentiment with a lot of people. That's a very, that's a very common sentiment to hear this time, this, in this time on DLive. And that's really sad, man. That's really sad because there was once a time when this was thriving. And a lack of management and a lack of smart decisions has ruined all that. And it sucks, dude. It sucks balls. Yeah. But who am I? Who am I to tell you? All I can do is reflect, and all I am is reflecting on what happened. But it does suck. Cohen with the ice cream. Thank you, Cohen. Cheers, man. Mayunas! Wow! It is a wonderful world. Indeed, it is. DLive is practicing extortion? I mean, I don't know if I'd go that far. Who, who, who are they extorting? Who's, who's being extorted on DLive? I don't know about that, dude. I mean, if you, if you have any facts on that, if you have any stories, then let us know. But I, I don't know anything about that. What I can say is, I mean, think about it. Over a year ago, Justin Sun and the Tron Foundation bought DLive. How's it gone since then? Terribly. Nothing. It's just gone down. Downhill. No, no community streams, no community correspondence, no updates, nothing ever gets fixed, things just break, constantly hiring new staff. Losing stuff, losing streamers, finding streamers, losing streamers. It's been a shit show. And the whole time, Justin Sun's been completely dead silent. Never said anything. He did a token stream on DLive, I feel like it was like 10 months ago. Didn't even mention the word DLive. Didn't even mention, oh, hello, by the way, I bought DLive and here I am. Want to talk about the platform, what I've got planned, how it's going to work. Didn't even mention DLive. He doesn't care. Nobody cares. Why would anybody care? The thing's not what it was. Pretty depressing. Pretty depressing. I'm worried that they'll shut it down without notice and leave you in the dark and you're leaving it too late to jump ship. Am I leaving it too late to jump ship? I don't think I'm leaving it too late, but I, I agree that this could be a very realistic um, situation where it's you, you wake up one day and it's all gone. That's how I feel. You wake up one day and the site just won't work. It'll be like 404. 
Hendrik, I just got a message from Charlotte. She was banned at 2 a.m. when she wasn't even in anyone's chat. Oh, wow. So it's nothing to do with me then. I'm in the clear. I mean, selfishly, and sorry to do this, but Charlotte, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't anything to do with me. Because I get labeled and tarnished with a lot of different brushes and I'm just happy that for once it wasn't my fault. I mean, and by the way, if it was my fault, then someone needs to let me know what I did, but it looks like I'm clear. <laughs> I'm in the clear. Doesn't fix the situation, but it kind of makes it a little easier for me to deal with. Last Sunday, our time, 2 a.m. in the morning. I mean, I, yeah, I was long and truly finished my stream. Is Tidy still here? Yes, he is, Pertsky. Yes, Tidy's still here. Now they have killed the chest because they won't fix it. Is that right? Is the chesting, is the chest dead? Because, I mean, I'm going to open mine later on. Cohen says, they ban everyone I've ever had a subscription to and I don't get a refund. It's a good point. It's a good point. What happens at that at that at that juncture where you sub? We've had 22 month sub streaks on my channel. What if I got banned? I mean, you, you, oh, hang on. I see what you. I know what you're saying, Cohen. But I, that was my the tr the way I tried to bring it together was wrong. But yeah, what happens to your? Yeah, I mean, who? Where does that money go at that point, too? I don't know, dude. I'm really looking forward to 2022 live streams and where they will take you, though, TKK. I mean, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I say this a fair, I, I say this a fair bit, and I'll say it again now. I feel like I've got this shit down. Like I've got this live stuff down. The tech, right? Like the way to do it, both IRL and seated stuff. I got the Mac, the M1 MacBook Pro Max coming. That'll help with like overlays and different monitors and stuff. But as far as those two versions, I, I look at live streaming in two different ways. There's this stuff, IRL, which I personally think is the future. And then there's the seated like commentary streams where you talk about things and watch content. I think I've, I, without trying to toot my own trumpet, I feel like I've got them down. The problem I have is I don't have a platform that supports me in doing that. I don't feel like I have a place where I really know that's my home. There was a time when this was it on DLive, but that's long gone. Like that's long and truly gone. And so I'm almost like, I'm almost like a, a streamer who has an audience and has the thing nailed. Like the, 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 the content is already packaged up, ready to go but no one's buying it. It's just getting, and you might say like, yeah, but if you if you stopped restreaming and like focused on Twitch or focused on Trovo or focused on Glimish, then you'd succeed. And I kind of agree with that, but I did that with DLive and I really did it. Like I really, really did it with DLive because I completely believed and agreed in the concept and I look at Twitch and I look at Trovo and I, even though Glimish has certainly got some good ideas, I don't see anything like what DLive was to grab me, like to say, yeah, man, that's the place to do it because of this, this, I just don't see it. And that's why I'm reluctantly hanging on to any kind of skerrick of hope that DLive might fucking fix this shit and go back to how cool it was. But honestly, with Justin Sun at the helm, I just don't see it happening just don't see it happening and so we just continue down this sort of lousy spiral of just waiting for shit to end up disappearing and then at that point you're forced to make a decision you know and I'll probably go with the big guys I'll probably go with twitch and just be another lousy streamer in a sea of millions right but that's yeah, but no, and I don't want to get pessimistic about it because I still really enjoy it. 
But there was a time when home felt like DLive. And now home doesn't feel... Just... They, to be completely frank, DLive wouldn't give a fucking rat's ass if I quit. If I said, take away my VP, I'm done, they wouldn't care. They'd be like, oh, hope you had a good time. Hope it was good for you. See you later. That's, that's, that's like your parents saying, oh, you're, you're of age and you're going to go out into the great big world. Bang, off you go. See ya. <laughs> Close the door on the way out. Finally, it's our time, right? The parents. That's what it feels like. D-Live just... We've seen it over and 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 over again. Whenever there's a big streamer that leaves, they don't care. They're like, oh yeah, everybody's got to choose their own path. Off you go, see ya. How about this instead? Ask them. You achieve GP. Why, why do you think... What, what, you're gonna leave now? Like, you're a GP, what, what's going on? Like, can you, can you elaborate on why you're not enjoying your GP status? Why, what's going on? Like, what, what can we do to help you stick around? What have we gotta do to make this the thing that you really wanted it, which is why you sat here and grinded it out until you became GP? They don't, they're just like, okay, no worries, see ya. Fucking terrible, terrible business ethic. But that's how it that's how it is that's how it works and there's no point fighting against it if it's just the way I it just is I just want to tell you how it feels Mayonnaise wow wow back up in the chat Cohen says I hope the streamers got their cut of the lemons with the subs at least but some have gotten completely locked out of their accounts See, I, I don't know anyone that that's happened to, but I have heard this before. I have heard people say that that happened, but I don't, I personally don't, I personally don't know anybody at all that can't access their lemons. I don't know anyone that's had that experience. So if it, if it, if it happens, then it's not something I'm aware of. TKK, I think you'd do great on Twitch, which with with the exception of the music streams. Yeah, of course, of course, yes, yes. The the the, the cap games, which wouldn't exist. And I mean, I I'd obviously have to retwig my or retweak my content to fit. And I I'm aware of that, and I have a plan for that, or, or I kind of have a bit of a a roadmap of how that would look, but. Like I, I don't want to, I don't want to do it because I believe in D-Live. Hendrik, keeping my lemons for my next sub renew to you. Maybe I should just drop them now as regular donos and forget about the sub streak. I mean, Hendrik, I understand what you're saying and I wouldn't like you to do that, but I understand that you might want to do that. Right? Obviously, I'd rather you sub to me continually, but I completely understand why you've lost the faith. It's not, it's not related to me. You're not saying, I think, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to speak on your behalf, but I, here I go anyway. I feel like you're, I feel like I know you well enough that you're not saying your content all of a sudden sucks and therefore I'm not going to worry about the sub streak. You're more saying there's only a certain amount of lemons going around and DLive is a sinking ship and the content that they're delivering and the way that they're banning people left, right and center sucks balls and therefore I'm putting up a stance. I get that. I get that. And I, and that, I, I wouldn't take that as any reflection on me. I can see you succeeding on Twitch, Potsky. Yeah, yeah, you, you've said that before, yeah. I mean, I am, I'm alive right now on Twitch. Like, I am restreaming there, and, and I know that to make the success happen, you have to give the dedication, and I've got to be there for the platform. I get that. I'm not doing that. I'm just restreaming, but I'm feeling it out. But I'm waiting. I guess I'm waiting on the day when it's a 404 on DLive, and I'm like, oh, okay. Now I've got to decide. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm sitting on the eggs, and they're getting warmer and they're getting bigger, and all of a sudden the climate will be right, and the egg will crack. But out of six different eggs, only one will survive. And which will it be? <laughs> Hendrix says, I've seen people go to Glimish and come back to DLive. R me too, me too, me too. Sun is not even at the helm, it's essentially abandonware. 
I mean, that's a good point. That's a very accurate point too. Yeah, Justin's son, yeah, fair enough. He owns the platform, but holy shit, he's nothing to do with the platform. He doesn't he doesn't front up and ex explain anything. He's a silent partner. He's the owner, and he's silent. It's nice dappled light right now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's uh, drop the exposure. I don't know how much of my hideous body you want to see, but there we go. We're here for you, Gibbs, not the platform. TKK, and dude, it's kind of why I said before, like when you come and go, I really, really appreciate you coming back on to see my content. Like that is, oh, hello, ducks. That's what you're called, duck. Yeah, I really appreciate you coming back on and just for me, like I, that's, that's flattering, man. Like you, you're on a platform that you don't give a fuck about and you're only here because I stream there. That's awesome, man. Like that, that just, that basically, that eliminates all the negative shit. It's like, dude, you come here because I stream here. And on that note, DLive should recognize that and have something in place to facilitate and to grow that. So when streamers bring viewers, there's a reward or an incentive. Like, it's so fucking obvious. And they don't do it. S staring them in the faces. Anyway. Zookski with the diamond ice cream and a lemon. Hello, Ben on. Hello, Zookski. I haven't seen you for a while, man. How you doing? You know what? I can give you a freaking triple give. Let me just crank this up, man. It's gonna be a little bit of a... It's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little rocky to get here, but I'm gonna give you a triple give because you know, I have the tech, and I'm gonna give you. Oh, just it's been a while since I've logged it. Dude, my phone is now on 29%, even though it's charging. Buh. Doesn't make any sense. Triple freaking give. Let me give you one, man. Triple give. Jesus, bees, ease, cheese, ease, knees, knees, ease, knees, 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 Thank you, Zuxki. Uh, I come to DLive after the stream.me pulled the plug, and this is where the people I follow, stream.me, I remember, I remember, um, I remember a uh, vegan cheater on stream.me. That's triple give, there it is. That J Ski sound clip, yeah, yeah. Twitch is full of music DJ streamers. Is it right? Is that right, Cohen? You could go multi platforms and keep the cap game here. I mean, Hendrik, yes. Yes and no. In many ways, yes, and in other many ways, no. Like if if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have a girlfriend, I'm about the girl. Right? If I'm gonna have I'm not going with multiple girls, I'm going with the girl. And the girl is D-Live. So I'm going to give all of my effort onto that. It would suck to be a live streamer on Twitch and say, hey, we're playing the cap game on Friday, you've got to go to D-Live for that. That would suck. So as you see, every time I stream, I tell everybody to come to D-Live. I'm promoting this everywhere and I'm trying to drag an audience to the one platform that I believe in. You might say you're a dickhead for doing that because the platform's shithouse. And I'd agree with that, but I'm still doing it because I somehow think that just around the corner, there's a big golden light and it's gleaming and gleaming and bliming and it won't happen though. Good things are coming. Good things are coming though. It's gonna be great new ways for streamers to monetize their content. Oh, sorry, I wasn't being facetious. That's what they told us. Deal, Ben, and I'll keep him. The lemons should roll in within the week. Yeah, man, I, I appreciate you, Hendrik. Thank you, man. Thank you. My fear is with you and Twitch is maybe so many users will, who browse associate you as a restreamer, but the market is... I mean, I, that Persky, I completely get that, right? I completely understand that concept. And I'd be the same, right? If I saw someone on DLive, and we do it on Mondays when we when we host a newcomer to DLive, and I tell you, this person's just restreaming here, they don't even know what DLive is, and therefore there's a lack of like, like, 
why would we support them? Why would we follow them? Why would we give them lemons? Why would we support a content creator that doesn't give a rat's about the platform? Which is what Restream is. Com to be, I get it. It's, that's why I was so against Restream for so long. Nowadays, I'm paying for a service on Restream that gives me the option to stream to multiple platforms. Might as well do it. And I constantly say, come on down to dlive.tv. Guns N' Roses gives a minute. You gotta put the slash in there, right? I constantly do it. You might say, you shouldn't do it, man. You, why, why are you trying to, what are they doing for you? Nothing, right? They're not, DLive does nothing for me, but I'm doing everything I can to build that up. Cause I somehow stupidly still believe in it. I must be the only one, hey? The only one from the day that, I mean, yeah, everybody I know is gone. G'day dude, you're welcome, and I agree with what you're saying. Thank you, Zook, thank you, man. It's good to have, it's good that people have the same, some, somewhat of a similar opinion. Appreciate that, man. Streaming platforms aren't girls. Okay. There's a mosquito here. Now it's a dead mosquito. There's a dead D-Live mosquito. It's just been flipped off into the ocean. Not only is this mosquito dead, this is D-Live here. I'm holding it. It's also gonna be eaten by a bigger fish. If I put it in the water, the bigger fish is going to eat the dead mosquito. There's a metaphor in that, folks. Wow, what a metaphor. Streaming platforms have to work for you. And I, yeah, Hendrik, I agree. And I, I guess I, I kind of hit that. I think I hit that point where I, like quite literally, DLive do nothing for me. Nothing. Hendrik, they are if you bend them over correctly. Put them on the spit. Shit. Let's keep this above board, folks, you know? Let's try to keep this, we're a mature attack, but let's keep it above the gutter. There's no gutter line here because we're on the, uh, the river. Yeah. I think what we need, and I, I reckon, I reckon I'm the, not the only one that feels this right now, whether you still think DLive is DLove, I think what we need categorically is D-Direction. DLive is D-Direction. That's what we need. We need direction. We don't have that right now. We don't have the direction we used to have. And that's, like, even if the direction's in the wrong way, at least we might know where the direction is. Right now, we've got nothing. Slash equals Axel. <laughs> Axel Rose. I'm gonna drop this exposure down just so you can see more of my hideous body. What are you? Are you guys? I mean, I'm not the best looking dude, but here I am with. It's all out there. Hey, there's no, there's no hiding this shit. So I'm. I want the expo. I want the exposure to be correct, even though that means you're gonna see this hideousness. So if you don't like it, you can turn your screen off and just listen to the audio. But this is who I am. I'm not gonna hide that shit. Although, to be honest, I've been flexing for the last two hours. I've been tensing my muscles. Can I relax them? I've been tensing a little, not too much. He wants to ride his water ski. Water ski ski. I wonder how much debt d are in. Ooh. You think they're in debt? I mean, what, what? What would give you that impression though? Like, why, why would you say this? I don't mean that any like sarcastically. I'm just gen genuinely asking what would make you think that they're in debt? Is there something that we've missed? Why would D-Live be in debt right now? That meek equals not equal to. Ah, oh, exclamation equals not equal to. Ah, oh, so what was the slash is not equal to Axel? Well, oh. depends if you're into your uh, guitaring or your vocaling. Oh, by the way, yeah, we had a, dude, we had a jam last night. And shh, 
James doesn't know, but I recorded it. He doesn't know this. James, if you're watching, I recorded that jam last night. I figured, you know what? This is the first time Drumzilla and I have ever jammed. Definitely gonna record this. And I set up my thing and I recorded it. He didn't know. We hit some good songs. There was one progression there that I thought was rad. Dude, somebody's smoking a funky jazz cigarette. Oh man, that would be fun actually. Oh, ah, na 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 na. Yo, Zuki, thanks for the sub, dude. Hey, by the way, this is a good. That was a cheers to the camera. Thank you very much, man. Uh, this is a good point that I want to hit, right? If I do leave D Live of my own free will, which I don't think will happen, I I would. If I could foresee the future, I would suggest that there'll be a 404 and D Live will disappear. That's what I feel like will happen. But if it's not that. And for some reason, let's say I get an offer from Twitch or let's say a brand manager from some site contacts me and says, we've been watching your content, dude, and we want to partner up with you. We want to give you an exclusive license to come and stream over here on platform XYZ. Here's the costing, blah, blah, blah. Let's contract this out. Of course, I would accept or I would at least acknowledge and look into the deal. But what I would do, and I don't know how you guys would react to this, but if you've got a sub to me, and it's extended for the next three months, I would stream until all of those subs are fulfilled on DLive. So part of the contract with new platform would be, yes, dead set, super keen, I'm all about it. You've got a good idea, a good motivation, a good structure, a good system, a good reward mechanism, I'm coming over, but I have commitments. It's kind of like a lease, right? I've got a lease on this house, and the lease is those who've subbed for me for so much time on DLive. Unless each and every one of those subs said, get the fuck off DLive and go to this new platform, we'll come over there for you. Unless they said that. I, but I would not end my content until I was fulfilled my obligation to those subs. That's, that's something that I've, because when we see like 22 month sub streak and this and that, I'm like, well, you're putting your faith in me that you're, you're putting your faith in me and the platform that I'm gonna be here and the platform's gonna be here over and over and over again. So if I just run on and take a, huh, I, just flicked, I just flicked a B in the air. If I just do a runner on that, that's shit, right? Like you've, could, you've invested in me and I've just done, a, done the runner, that's shit. So I would do that unless every single one of those people or those subs said, man, we don't care get the hell out and go to the new platform, whatever it is. Operational expenses, their service, internet feed, licensing. So you think that they're in debt for that, but Justin Sun's a fucking billionaire. Like he pays millions of bucks to have lunch with big names. That's what I don't get. Like Justin Sun's loaded. Like what? Anyway. See, see, case in point, Zuxki, thank you, man. Zuxki gifted a one month sub to Pertsky. Pertsky, you're now a rose giver for another month. Imagine, imagine in, by the way, thank you, Zook. Cheers, dude, I'll give you a little. Imagine in like two weeks time, I'm like, I'm over it, I'm done. Well, what about that last two weeks of that month's sub? That was a gift. That's a gift and you're gonna just deny it? That's shit, no, you, you're, I'm here for it. And there's another one, Zuxki. What? Cohen, see, I'm, I, see, so whenever you Yahoo's do that, you're basically ex extending my time on DLive. Not that I'm gonna leave. I'm not saying I'm gonna leave, but I'm just saying, what if? Like, how that looks. And that's, that's how I look at it. Well, that's how I view it. Did you enjoy your stay in Murray? I did. I did indeed. We had a good time. It's been about a bit, just under a week, just over a week. It's been good. It's been really good, actually. Zook till you puke. Thanks heaps. <laughs> Zook till you puke. 
My friend has a built up Suzuki Samurai and that was his license plate. Zook till you puke, is that right? That's cool. Interesting comment. You now know you now you know I don't buy lemons. That would depend on me streaming again. Can I do that? Dunno. Yeah, yeah, so you your streaming is pretty much over here on D Live, right? Let's calm down another. Hendrik, you're not. Oh, there's mosquitoes now. Oh shit, I'm gonna put a shirt on, dude. There's mosquitoes. Yeah, I got a shirt up. I hear them. But I wanna get. I wanna. I kinda wanna get back in the water. Just at least up to my waist. Hold on a sec. I don't want to get fully submerged here. That's enough. But there are mosquitoes here now. Oh wait, I got in the water and I didn't get a ninja. You... You said ninja for water. You, you people, can't take you anywhere. Oh. So, here's the thing. My phone says it's been charging. It's got the little lightning arrow, but it's down to 19% now. So it hasn't been charging. 18%. Dude, I got no. I, 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 I can't talk to you, cunts. Yeah. We're down to 18%, dude. It's gonna die, hey. What's going on here? How's that even. Okay, just don't touch it, man. Is one of these ports less powerful or something? Surely not. I'll try changing the port. It says it's charging. It's 18% though. Shit. Have a pee while you're in there. That's what I was doing, Zook. <laughs> you, you nailed it, man. That's what I was doing, dude. I was pee I was slashing right then. Pertsky, thanks for the ice cream and lemon. My Eunice! Wow! I can't seem to be able to buy lemons anymore. Really? That's weird. I got my lemons on Google, I know, right? Got my lemons on Google. You bought lemons on Google? Buh? Snuh? How does that work? Someone on uh, David Smith on Facebook. Hey David, I see the comment come up on my Facebook feed with the notification, but David, I haven't said this for a while, but please, if you're interested in this content and you want to comment, you've got to come to D... Here I go promoting DLive after just sledging it for how long. Come down to DLive.tv slash gives a minute. So type the word... Type the word live and put a letter in front of it. D. DLive. That's the platform. DLive.tv. Then put a slash, put the word gives a minute. That's where I'm seeing the chat. Because if you're going to comment on Facebook, I know I did get a notification, but I'm not going there to look at it. But I appreciate that you're watching. But if you want to come over here and enjoy the conversate, it's over on DLive. And we're getting darker here, so we're going to change the... Uh... It says server internal error. Is that right? Yo, Peach in the house. Sup, Giverino? How you doing, Peach? Giverino, I like that. I like Giverino. That's cool. Giverino. Giverino. Giverino, I really like that actually. It's got a good ring to it. Gives a Reno. Actually, no, you you got Giverino. I would be Gives a Reno. Gives a Reno. I just want to tell you how it feels. You got her in your pocket. What have I got that White Stripes song in my head? 
Mayonnaise! You had her in your pocket, you got her. Oh, I can't think of it. H-Man! With a diamond, an ice cream, and a lemon, the triple freaking gift. Mayonnaise! Wow! Better spend these lemons now, the end is nigh. I mean, I'm gonna give you a freaking triple give. How do I do this? Um, Hendrik, a triple freaking give? Give me a second. This is gonna be tricky to do, huh? Triple give. Jesus. Bees, ease, cheese. Oh, if I did that right, I mean, I'm just curious to see how that works. I, it's a little tricky. Jesus. Bees, uh -huh. ease, cheese, oh, you, ease, knees, knees, ease, knees, 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 it definitely won't be here in five years. There's, the only way it'll be here in five years is if, if there's massive changes. Like, like massive changes. But yeah, it's not here. That, that, there's, no, there's no way that this, this place exists after five years. Not a chance. On the way back machine says DKK, snap. Absolutely, yeah. And at some point, when that happens, I will upload every single stream that I have since I became uh, affiliate, which I've got every single stream in all of its glory, all of it in source material, I'll upload it to some place, probably Gaze TV, uh, in broken segments, because sometimes they go longer than three hours. That's a great response though, TKK, on the Wayback Machine. <laughs> It's, uh, it's sad that that's the, it's sad that that's the case, but that is the case, you know? Getting a little on the cooler side now, folks. Uh, I mean, I'm not adverse to a swim again, but uh, there'll be a cost involved, and the cost will be. I just want to tell you how it feels. You asked me before, what would it cost you to get in there? I'll tell you. A freaking ninja! H man with a diamond, let's drain the lemons. An ice cream and a diamond and a lemon. What? H man, the triple freaking give. Now, how did I do that? Thank you, man. I think I did it by, by doing that. The triple freaking give. I think that worked. I'm on 11% battery here, folks. It's bizarre. It's charging, but not charging. Uh, Peach, what moves do you think you'll make to adjust? Have you thought about your next move? Oh, Peach, you, you just caught, kind of caught the tail end of this conversation, I suppose. Yeah, because we, we just had that conversation. Um, I'm just going to drop the exposure a little little more. Yeah, Peach, we, we just had that whole conversation about what I was kind of thinking about what I might do. Um, yeah, so I, it, I don't want to bore. I'm not, and you shouldn't take this, however, but I'm not, I don't want to go back and do the whole conversation again because we, we literally just did it and I'll give you the uh, TLDR version. Basically, I will go, I, I will stay here on DLive until 4.04 or if I get an offer somewhere else. If someone headhunts me and says, dude, we really want you to promote our site, can we contract you up? What, what are we going to do to contract you in? Then I will talk about that. But at that point, I'll also honor the contract I've got here on DLive, and that contract is not with DLive, it's with you yahoos who have subbed multiple months in advance. I will stay and, and fulfill those months unless those people say, fuck that shit, get out of there and go to the new place and we'll come with you. But that's my main concern. Everybody's put their faith that, man, we like your content, we want to hang out with you, and here's, here's the next month or two in advance. 
it's like it's like you're putting down a like I said it's like a lease on a house like I'm putting down my money I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in this town in I'm gonna be in this town for the next three months and then the next thing oh, another town asked me to go over there well yeah you've got obligations to fulfill so I'm I will do that or one day we'll all wake up and it'll be a 404 on D Live, which doesn't seem that far surprising to me. It'll be a sad day though, like don't get me wrong, I'm I'm not saying I want this. Like people might misguide me and say or, or misinterpret this and say, ah, that gives a minute guy just talks bad about D Live. No, fuck no. I want this to be way better. I don't want this to die. I don't want what looks like it's gonna happen. I want the opposite. But nobody else seems to. So as a streamer, I'm just laying it out where I am, right? I just want to make this thing better and be, I want to be a streamer that says, hell yeah, DLive. Got to go to DLive because of this, 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 and this. And at the moment, there's nothing, there's nothing. So to answer your question very quickly, because we did hit it, that's, that is the answer. Sorry, just got in. No, I understand. I understand. People come and go. People come in. Yeah, that, that's cool. That's cool. I understand that. Zookski with the gift of the sub. See, this This is what I mean, right? So, Zook, you just gifted... Who did that? Peach got that. So, Peach. So, I mean, case in point, right? So, at that particular point, you're now vested, if you like. You're, you're not invested because it was a gift, but you're vested in my content for another 12... Uh, another four weeks, 12, I was going to say 12 months, another four weeks at least. So what about if then all of a sudden you come to my stream and it's like, gives a minute's left. He's off D-Live. He's now streaming on Hoobada Hoobada Hoobada. It's a new site. It's called Hoobada Hoobada Hoobada. And you're like, but I didn't, I was gifted a sub on D-Live. That would feel shit. If it was me, I'd feel shit. So I want to make sure I do the right thing. And, and by the way, this is all hypothetical because I'm, Spoiler alert, I'm not being headhunted. Nobody's saying we want that Aussie dickhead on our platform. Nobody's saying that. But I'm just saying, if you asked me if things happened, what would I do? And so, don't ask a question if you can't take the answer, you flaming drongos. Now that's going to be a nice sunset too. Light in the sky. Nobody's talked up DLive more than you. Pertsky, uh, I disagree with that. PewDiePie definitely did. He totally talked it up. That first video he made, wow. I love my time here. Yeah, me too, Hendrik. Old days work now, not working. Yeah, exactly. That, that's, the, that's the TLDR. It, it used to work and it doesn't work anymore. It's just, it's a beautiful notion, but it's not being guided. It's not being directed. And therefore, it's just flapping around in the breeze. D-Live is like a flag, right? Like, it's sitting at the edge of the flagpole and the breeze is just banging it around. And every now and then, the flag wraps around the pole and ties itself in a knot. And then it's like, fuck, that flag's not flying properly. Someone goes up there and loosens it. That's like an announcement, like the, what's the Christmas announcement? That, that campaign, it's like a little, oh, the flag kept going around the flagpole. No, no, we loosened it. Oh, it's good again. It's flapping around in the breeze and then the breeze gets stronger and it whack every now and then it whacks itself against its own body and then all of a sudden it starts fraying and like the end starts getting worse for weather and before you know it there's no flag left it's just a string on a pole <laughs> that's a fucking good metaphor and yes I am two beers down that's a good metaphor man put that in your metaphor book I've seen too many things go wrong here. Me too, Hendrik, me too. You did spruit gaze. Oh, dude, dude, for, I've forgotten about that. March, four months from now, in March 2022, phase two of Gaze TV rolls out. Phase two is a complete rehaul. See, how, okay, how's this? How's this? I know what's happening in four months time on Gaze TV because I've been told by the team that we've got a relaunch of our product in March 2022. They've been working on it for like 12 months. It's called gazalization. It's the next phase. It's going to include live streaming. 
maybe I'm gonna go over, th not, they're not contracting me, but maybe I'm gonna go over there. If, if they're gonna start reward, rewarding you for a, every second counts, right? Every second of content is worth gaze token, and it's live, I'd be the fool to not stream there. So yeah, thanks for reminding me, Hendrik. That's, that's big news, that's coming here. I hear you, Hendrik. It wasn't perfect, but at least it was more supported. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Get in there. It was all downhill once they let Lolly Sock stream in his panties. Lolly Socks, that's going way back, isn't it? Wow, Lolly Socks. Yeah, okay. I don't, don't hear much about that guy anymore. Lolly Socks. Yeah, he went to the States, didn't he? Dude, look at that light on the water now. That's looking awesome. Can you upload videos to, to gays like YouTube? No, dude, it, it, it's not even... So, Peach, um, it's not even live streaming right now. It's only uploaded... You only can upload videos to gays. But here's the thing. You earn... Right now, you earn gays token for every second of a video you upload. So every second you upload, so if you upload a 10 minute video, which let, let me be clear, I've been uploading my entire back catalog, two videos a day for the last year and a half. I get gays token just for adding that to their platform. And what I'm saying is they're working towards phase two of the rollout, which will be a complete redesign in March, 2022. And that's gonna include live streaming and I'm I'm frothing for that. Not contracted. They didn't they did invite me to join the platform before the public release. That's sort of like an invite. Like I do have contact with her name's Doreen. She's the marketing uh, manager of, of I was gonna say D Live of Gaze TV. So I have I do have contact with her, but that's not like I'm there's not there's no contract in place. But that's certainly intriguing. What whatever that looks like and however however that monetization comes it might not be. It might not be every second of your live stream gets paid. It could be something, you know, live is different. Like live there is a kind of like a lena or a lemon, like an in-app currency. That's pro that's more than likely what it will be. But as it stands right now, it's an ERC20 token and you earn 0 0.10 every second you upload. So I am loving this view though. Oh man, this is beautiful. ABC did a story on him, they added his real name. Oh, Pertsky, can you can you link that in my Discord? We'll take a look at that, dude. Pay by the second, exactly. And their, their, their slogan, Zook, is every second counts. That's literally their, their branding slogan. Gay, gays TV, every second counts. So every second of your content, you're getting rewarded for. At the moment, I'm not saying it's gonna be that way forever, and we all know how things change, right? D Live went through a big change. Drop the exposure down. Look at this beautiful light. Hello, Tweety little Tweety Birds. This is awesome. That light might need. That light might some come in handy right now. Oh, the light. Should I crank the light up? I see what you're saying, Hendrik. Yeah, Trusky. This is an absolute perfect afternoon. My phone's gonna go flat though, and I'm gonna lose the chat at that point. That's gonna, that's gonna suck. What are we on, what, what? Oh, 2%. I'm turning my phone off. My phone's, con I'm turning my phone off. I'm turning my phone off. It's plugged in, it says it's getting, a okay, I don't have a chat now. I turned it off, and I'm gonna see if it goes up. It's at 2%, I'm gonna see if it goes up at some point. But I'm not, I'm flying solo with no chat. So it's just gonna be, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be as it is. I can't see the stream. This is like an IRL streaming from Steve Ann's stream. I got this light here. We got light that I'm gonna put on my face. How am I gonna do this? I'll balance it on an empty beer bottle. A lovely idea. That's not gonna work at all, you wally. How am I gonna do this then? Um, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. And I'm hoping that my phone starts getting charged. Um, I mean, this is the light you want, right? You want to see this hideousness? There you go. Hello. I can't hold it there for too much longer, though. That's pointless. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind sitting it somewhere, like resting it on something, but you know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. But I can't see the chat, so I won't be able to, um, you know, do the live stream stuff, talking and whatnot. If I put that on there, it's not going to go in there, is it? No, it's not. Essentially, what we've got right now is a failure to communicate with technology. We have the tech, but it's not going to uh, work for us. Anyway, we're going to be rolling out. I guess, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll save this for later, because we will be rolling out, and we'll put light on later. sucks not being able to see a chat. I mean, I have I love live streaming because I get to talk to you, Yahoo's, but I can't see you. I can't talk to you because my battery says no. I mean, I guess I've got to face it. At some point, I've got to buy a new phone, right? I just don't have the money for it. Definitely don't have the money for it right now. Sometime I'll get one. <whistles> this sucks, man. I want to talk to you guys. I mean, I, I, I'm going to... I'm gonna to talk to you, I'm gonna assume what you're talking about. Um, okay, so the conversation probably is still on DLive. So DLive is D-dead, yet people still say DLive is D-love, and so therefore, therefore, it's like, it's one against, well it's not one against one, it's, it, feel, it feels like, all right, I'm, okay, so in many ways, I know people, I know there's a conversation around me or to not take it so personally around my approach or around my opinion, opinion, that's the word. There's a conversation around my opinion, which isn't unique because other people have the same opinion. But when people say, well, when certain streamers say, I don't agree that this opinion should exist. So my opinion, again, not just mine, but the, the opinion we're discussing is that DLive is dead, right? That's, that's my opinion based upon months and months and months of research, months and months and months of being here, observing and commentating and watching and looking and, and, and reacting and seeing what's going on. I know that there's a, a conversation that says, this is wrong and you shouldn't, you shouldn't speak that way or you shouldn't feel that way. My response to that, and I'm not, I mean, I don't even know if that's what you're talking about because my chat's off, but my response to that is in general, we should all be able to have our opinion on a matter, 
whatever the matter is. And if the matter is close to your heart and something that you've invested a lot of time and money and effort into, then of course it's going to be an emotional response. So, so if you can separate the emotion from the fact, you're onto a, a good start. Now, typically, emotional responses happen first. So when something changes, like the light right now, shit, that looks rad. When, the, when, when something changes in your life or in the surrounding situation, you often emotionally respond as the first port of call. And then later on, once your emotions have either dissipated or you've dealt with it, you then go into the actual facts of the matter. And this is the case with breakups, and I've been there, I've done it, I'm, I'm as guilty as the next prick, right? I emotionally base my responses nearly all the time. And then later on you're like, that was the shittiest response ever because Look at the facts, right? So once you move on from that, and, and if you look at DLive in, as a situational case, you can then start to see, well, forget your emotions. Forget how good you think the site is. The facts speak volumes, right? The facts are right there. Everybody has left, willingly. Like, there's been people that have been banned, sure. People that might have deserved the ban, right? There's been, whatever. Whatever you, whatever your gut instinct or whatever your opinion and belief is, people have been banned and a lot of people have left of their own free will. Those are the facts. So separate the emotion from the fact and then you can sort of kind of get a bit more clarity in the situation. And those that say that you shouldn't, or I, and those who have the same opinion of me, shouldn't express those opinions because it makes the site look bad, therefore you're saying you can't have an opinion on the situation. Which seems ironic when you could have the opinion as long as it was the same opinion that they had. So if you were like, DLive is DLove, that's fine. Oh, because, because we share that opinion. But if your opinion differs from that person, oh, you can't do that. And that's garbage. That's garbage because we all should have our own opinions. We all should be able to navigate the way things have rolled and come to a conclusion. It might not be the right conclusion. I'm, I'm never saying, I wanna be clear about this, I never say I have all the answers. That's not what I'm saying, never. And if you think I'm saying I have the answers, you got your, you, you got your hopes on a false prophet. I've never said that. But what I am saying is, these are the facts, and this sucks. Let's do something to fix it. And if I get branded as a, a hater and like, he's bringing the site down, I'll, I'll ride that as long as it fix that shit. As long as that shit gets fixed, I'll take whatever the label that you want to put on me. Because I have seen it. I've seen it in the Discord, and I've seen it alleged at me, and I'll ride that. I'll take it, and if you, if you want that, that's how you... I can't stand that gives a minute guy because he's so negative about DLive. Then fine. Come back to me when it's all fixed. And I'll be like, someone had to go to that point to get this thing to sort of churn over and, and reset. Because at the moment and for the whole year, nobody's done fucking nothing. It's been a fucking shit show of nothingness. Now. If I got that all wrong and that's not what you were talking about, I apologize because I wasn't. I'm not looking at a chat, my screen is off, but I thought that might have been. And I mean, let's be honest, that's on my mind. It's been on my mind forever, you know? Like, we don't want this. We do not want this on DLive. We want DLive is DLove. We want a thing, we want a prosperous streaming site where everybody's like, hell yeah. We want to be running around waving our hands in the air going, DLive. This is the sh this is the shit. Come over here. I just want to tell like you it how was. It feels. It's not. It's so. It's Are so it? not that. Wow. Wow. Got a lot of long-term diehards who are holding on to this notion of something. Yet you got this drip feed of nothing coming from the, the powers that be above. It's garbage, eh? It's garbage. <laughs> You're dead, mosquito. Got him. Got him! A lot of mozzies here right now. I guess we should sort of... We should probably roll out, because the sunset... We're, we're looking to the um, to the east here, and the sunset's in the west, and there's no beer left. 
let me just check the sunset. And if the sunset's good, I, I guess we should sort of view that way. Let me just check it. Actually pretty cloudy over there. Like there is a sunset happening, but it's pretty cloudy. I would, I would like to wait a little longer and see if it gets better as the sun gets a little lower, but... And then at that point, I mean, I guess I should try this. I'm going to turn my phone back on and just see if the charge, if it, if, because it's been plugged in, so it should theoretically be getting a charge. Let me turn this sucker back on and see what happens. So when I ended it, it was at 2%. We'll just see what, what it's done since then. Powering up. Got him. You dead, mosquito. Enter passcode. Oh, it's only at 3%. Dude, it's taken, it's got 1%. Get out of here. So that's not charging. Ah, oh, you suck, phone. Hasn't been charging at all. Dude, I'm on 3% battery. It's charging now. I'm turning it off. Turning it off. I turned it off. I turned it off and it was charging. It did, it, it, I mean, it did go up by 1%, but. A live stream without a chat is like a mule with a spinning wheel. No one knows how he got it and danged if they know what he'll do with it. By the way, there is some gnarly black clouds with, that's rain, dude. It's raining up above, hey, for sure, that's rain. We're gonna get wet on the way back, for sure. That's definitely raining up, the, up above. That's, there's rain up there. You might say, well, what's the big deal? It's kind of hot, so a bit of rain will help you get cooled, and you're right. But then again, equipment, batteries, power, Live streaming, not good. Kind of got to take another slash. Can I just slash into the... I'm going to slash over here. There's a waterfall over here, folks. I guess you'll hear it in a second. Bit of a waterfall over here, folks. I don't know about you, but uh, can you hear that waterfall? Wow, there's a waterfall. What? Was there a waterfall? I never saw a waterfall before. Not to come over like they're getting scared. They're not going to hear thunder out there. I think we could be in for a rocky ride back. Should we finish this beer and get out of here? Should we finish up and get out? I mean, there's only like three mouthfuls. I, I guess we should, it's getting... We've got, a, we've got a fair old walk back too, so... You know what, if we walk now, we'll probably get a sunset on the bridge. That'll be tits. I think we should, I think we should spiral off. Let me finish this beer and then I'll make tracks to do that. I can't, I, I, I apologize for not being able to chat with you. You guys could be having the great, you guys could be arguing in my chat. You could be frothing and saying, this guy's a dickhead, what an absolute tool. And I won't even know. You could be, you could be supporting me and I wouldn't even know. I can't, I, I don't have a chat. I guess, I, I guess this is a, I should get a new phone, right? I've held on to the iPhone 7 Plus for so long. I think this is a, I got everything else with live streaming down sus. All my tech is good, but my phone just goes, the battery just goes. Or I'll get a new battery for the iPhone 7 Plus. That's a good idea. But look at this light. Look at that light on the. F oh my, I can't go now. Look at that. Look at that beautiful light. Damn. That's awesome. I hope you're getting that. That is absolutely beautiful. What a, what a stunning time of the day. Wow. Holy shit. 
Golden hour. That's golden hour upon us. Look at these guys, they're, they're going, yep. We're out in the boat. We've got the best spot here. This is the greatest thing ever. Hell yeah. That is stunning. Just isn't that strange? Like like within like 20 minutes, the light, the 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 angel of light hits that land and it just it's just golden. Dude. That's incredible. And it'll, it'll change, like, the reason I don't want to leave right now is because that'll change so quick. Like, that'll only last eight minutes, kind of, max. Beautiful. What a freaking planet we live in. And we've maintained at 7,000 bit rate right now for this entire stream. Yeah. I love it. I love technology. is the uh, brown bag we'll put in the bin later on. Oh. I love live streaming. This is, I guess this is, apologies again for not engaging in the chat and whatnot, but this is, can I just put this out there? There has always been a goal, the almighty electric van fund. And we've raised two hundred and sixty-seven dollars of ten of a hundred thousand. The idea is that that goal, and you can hit it by going down below. That goal is to do this countrywide, to do this live streaming Australia-wide from a van, living like I, right now. I'm, I'm on a job, or I was on a job. The only reason I'm in Adelaide or in South Australia is because of a job. But ultimately, it's kind of like a little test. Like, I can do this remotely. My idea is to do it all the time remotely and live remote and travel. And that's why there's a goal down below for the almighty electric van fund. I would love to buy an electric van or contract with, a, with some big business and get involved. Like maybe Restream would team up with me and say, man, we'll, we'll pay for that van and you live in it and you travel Australia and do this, do this live stream everywhere all the time. That would be so cool. I mean, we're in, we're in Murray Bridge. Look, look what you're seeing in Murray. You've never, you're never gonna come to Murray Bridge. Who in my chat, and I can't see it, but who in my chat will ever come to this place ever in their life? No one, right? No one will ever come to Murray Bridge. But yet here I am showing it to you in real time live to the internet and there's there's so many different places like this that are just begging for it and I want to be the one to do it I might have to get a new phone though if I can't see a chat it's killing me it's killing me softly without its chat I guess we should get out of here I could babble on forever. You know I will too. I love a good babble on. Alright, so I'm going to polish this off, then take one last lash, then we'll get out of here. Beer is done. And, just so that you know, check this out. In this one, I'm going to show it to you because I think some people think I'm lying about this, but in this one, both of the bottle caps. So these are the two caps that I took off. They go in there and there's the two empties. You have to do this. You've got to put them in the bin, right? In the trash. If you, if, people would sometimes flick them into the water. Ah, no one's ever going to find it. Fuck. Someone's going to cut their foot on that shit. All right. Let me just uh, take a, a token slash before we spiral. Don't need my 
nice solid gorilla. Won't be needing these. It's, it's dark as, mate. Lights, le you lost the light, eh? It's all over. I'll put my hat on though, because like that's easy to wear, right? You know. Right, I'm gonna take a quick slash. Alright, let's uh, make a move out of here. Shoes is on. How are we going to do this? Um, okay, so my phone is still charging, even though I don't think it's doing... I don't think the charge is doing anything, but we'll see. I, I, I apologize, again, I apologize. I can't, I can't see the chat. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It sucks. This is as bad as an, uh, streaming, streaming, streaming from Steve Ann's stream with uh, no tidy labs. It sucks, but it's the case. So, maybe, my, my feeling is maybe if we just walk for a while, it'll somehow charge. I don't know, probably won't. Either way, I will put it in my pocket while it's still on the charge. And, we will get out of here. Even though my pocket is still a bit wet, you know what, I don't care. Now my phone just turned on. Seriously? What the hell? I didn't turn it on, but okay, so it's powering up. I guess we'll just wait and see what the power up situation is. Whether it says it's got a power or not. I didn't turn it on, but there it is, it's turned on. Come on. You turn the self on, then stay on. Um, I it's on 4%, so it did manage to get, but it's not charging. It got 4% battery. No, it's not charging. That's, um... That is, um... That cable sucks balls. Now it's charging! Okay, turn it off. Turn it off and put it in my pocket. You know, that's gonna work, you dickhead. That's not gonna work, but I mean, I, I mean, all I can do is what I'm doing, right? Oh, you know what I was going to show you? I was going to show you that there is power right here. Check this out. Let me just put this down. Check this out. If you if you ever want to come and do a live stream from this area, there is quite literally a power supply right here. Look at that. Two of them. Literally a power supply. So you could easily stream this environment live if you haven't got all the battery packs that i've got which ironically are now failing me because i haven't got power on my um on my ipad on my iphone you could do a stream from here so we're going to pop the uh sh exposure shutter speed down to 100 no 60 60 and we're going to now we're going to start ramping iso as we walk so right now iso is going to be we want to see the sunset so forget my hideous head let's go down okay and the trash Right, let's get out of here. Idiot check. Yep, I'm here. And there is a bin right ahead of us, which we will definitely, oh, there's two bins. There's heaps of bins. We'll choose a single bin. Hello. Just chilling there, drinking like I was. All right, let's continue and put these in the bin. What an absolutely Perfect afternoon. Aside from the phone going flat, that kind of sucked, but everything else, look at this. Put this in here. Look at this. You want to see a pelican? 
This is a native Australian bird. It's a, del it's a dingo pelican. Check this out. Oh, oh, he's not liking that. No, nah, he's not tame. We'll leave him. He's not. He's going to fly if I go any closer. We don't want to bugger him. Bugger him? We don't want to bother him. But that's a... Yeah, they often uh, get confused with koala bears. Very similar. Very similar. Koala bear, kangaroo, wallaby, football, meat pie. Australia. Look at this. Look at this scene. Look at this. Do you, do you see this? Is that... Ex Look at this scene. Just like two chairs, fishing rods, but no one there. Just this beautiful vista. Pelicans, seagulls, ducks, fishing. Beautiful, right? A chilled, a chilled, beautiful afternoon. You know what I could do with right now? A four pack of dubs. Not denying it. I'm a little rusty from last night, but I could definitely hit some jack right now. It's such a beautiful afternoon. It's warm. I've got no chat. Can't see a chat, and here we are strolling around, around here. The Great Escape, hello. Oh, did you give me the bird? <laughs> I got the bird, you didn't see that. Hey, there's a guy in the uh, houseboat, he's waving at me, and then he gave me the bird. <laughs> and <laughs> they think I'm vlogging, but I'm not in live. That's funny. There's a boat here called the Wow Factor. I'll give you a wow. This is beautiful. This is perfect temperature. No wind, look how still it is. Hello. Hi. Look how still this is. There's no wind. The temperature's perfect. Everything's perfect. Beautiful. Do we have a charge? Can I check the chat? This, all right. So there's always something that's shitting me. Some, there's always something out there to shit me. And what's shitting me right now is I can't see you yahoos. Oh, a bag of cherries. No. Look at this. This is the bridge we're going to be getting to. Check this out. See you later, ducks. Look at the ducks. They're out of there. See up here? We're going to be walking to that bridge. Now what you see there is two bridges actually, but you can't quite make them out. But we're going to cruise across the, the car bridge. We've done that already though, so if you saw the beginning of this stream, you would have seen that. You'd know where we're going. And I'm just hoping that when I get to somewhere, I mean, I, okay, so what I'll do is we'll walk all the way to the bridge. And at that point, I'll check the chat and see if my phone's been getting a charge. If we get a little charge, I might be able to check the chat. Otherwise, it's a, a blind stream where none of, none of us talk. You guys could all be having the greatest conversation. There could be like, there could have been ninjets. You could have been dropping ninjets and I wouldn't even, I don't even know. It sucks. Lightning, probably not the best connector. Oh, this bird's just chilling here. What are you doing? Are you not going to be bothered that I'm right next to you? Ah. Oh. Those guys that caught that fish before, they just left it there. That's pretty um. No worries. That was the that was the exact spot before where that chick caught the fish. They just left it there. That's shit house. People. People suck. We humans are shit. They suck. We all suck. They caught that fish. They just left it on the on the bank. Just chuck it back in the water, you dickhead. I, mean, I don't want to be the one to say it, but... <sighs> What's wrong with people? This is such a good afternoon, though. It's really, really not. Really pleasant. Like, the temperature is so pleasant. It's probably dropped off. Maybe it's 28 or something now. It's just like that super warm, comfortable, easy warmth. It's just such a nice vista. There's still air. Oh, very nice. Here's a structure. This is a thing. And I guess it means something. It's rock. Starts off at the bottom. 
and it goes up and then it just goes up to there and then that's it and look at those dark clouds up there that's the thing that's the structure of something yeah and i mean there's always structures of things and there's one there i don't know what it's for didn't see anything it doesn't say anything it's just a structure it's just a just a piece of content structure thing very nice there's also this structure here it's a bench you've seen these before though these are common everywhere and so we continue to walk along this uh footpath or you may know it as a pavement or a sidewalk well not technically a sidewalk because it's not quite on an on a road but it is a pathway and in Australia we walk on the left you may walk on the right that will be wrong so go to the left and do the right thing we keep on the left here it's just the way it's done here you might say well why would you do that why would you do the other way are you saying you're correct and we're not yeah see yeah, he knows he knows are you saying you're correct and we're not? Anybody could be correct at that particular point. Here we have the Murray Bridge Regional Rowing Center. They're rowing in their regions and they're from Murray Bridge and this is where they do it on the center. And they enjoy it, they love it and they also row. And there are dark clouds up there. I feel like it's gonna rain dude. That's rain clouds man. They are rain clouds. Look how gnarly that is. That is rain clouds. Definitely going to get rained on here very, very soon. If not now, it's going to happen. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But it won't, it might. So this is pretty much where this began. We started at this Sturt Reserve tailhead. Sorry, trailhead. Check this out the trailhead we started here actually can we even get I mean I guess we're gonna find out I don't know if we can even get to the bridge from here we've got to go back in and up I think I'm gonna try it anyway but this is where this all began we kind of cut in through the, the back of the park and we got down to this section and I'm just wondering where this trail if it keeps going to the bridge will there be a way to go up to the bridge I mean there's got to be right I mean we'll just see Guess we'll find out. And at that point, I will check the chat and I'll see if I got a charge. If I got any kind of like battery charge, at least maybe we'll be able to converse. Also, I'm only wearing this hat because it's better than carrying it, but I guess I don't need it. Well, I definitely don't need it. There's no sun, right? But this is a hat James gave me and I wore it today because man, I've been getting smashed with the sun since I've been here. Yeah, oh, two days ago on the IRL stream, those girls gave me some sun cream. That was very kind of them. But uh, yeah, it's, it's heavy sun, right? Like really, really, and windy as well. Blah, blah, bling, blong, blang. Blah, blee, blah, blue, mami, la, lu. Blah, bling, blong, blue. Wah, mami, la, lu. Here we are, we're almost at the bridge, actually. It's, this, this came up a lot quicker than I, oh, that's the first bridge, that's the train bridge. Truski, Truski. We gotta go past that first bridge. Oh, the lights are on. The lights are on. The lights are on. Try and switch to manual control. There are lights on already. That's interesting. Do we need to change our exposure here? Oh, we do, don't we? Yeah, you should have told me. Well, dude, you're not looking at your chat. This is true. How's that looking? Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Look, sky, what's this? Smiling face on a train? Okay, okay. This is not a train on train tracks, it's just a train. Hello, Bob. 160. I don't know what this is. I, I don't know. There's no... Tr oh, there is a train line here. There's one train line. Oh, no, there's two. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't know. We're in the dock area. It's all of a sudden become dock style. There's a boat called Captain Proud. Mobile 
wheel, mobile wheel cruises? No, paddle wheel cruises. Check this out. Captain Proud. It's open. No, there's no one on there. Captain Proud. Paddle boat cruises is... You want to go on a paddle boat cruise? Captain Proud's your man. Oh, I got rain on my head. Oh, wow. Dude, I got rain on my head just then. A big drop of it too. We, we could be in a... We could be in trouble in terms of getting wet. We'll see. We'll see. This says sunken PS Marundi. What does this mean? Sunken PS. Sunken PS Marundi. So you got a letter to sunken and also additional Marundi. And there's the bridge with the lights in the background. And there is up here sunset from heaven. Look at that, that's beautiful. But that's rain coming down. That's rain. You see that? Did you get a little zoom skis? That's beautiful. And it's warm. Oh, this would be a great photo. Uh, I'm not gonna take a photo, but this would be a great scene of the Bridgeport, which is the, I told you about the hotel. Oh, it changes colors. Let me, um, I guess if we get past the, keep it down, you flaming Drangos. Get past here, check this out. If I can get a shot of this, I, I'll have to just check the exposure. But if we zoom in here, into the bridge port. You see the bridge port? That looks nice, doesn't it? Kind of. I mean, it doesn't look great. I thought, I actually, it actually looks better in real life than it does in vision, 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 visual. Dude. Okay, it's probably best we didn't get that, Jack. Um, but we are about to go under the rail bridge and I'm just going to assume that there's a step up to the road bridge. I don't have any factual evidence on that, but I'm going to assume. But either way, we are gonna gonna we are about to pass under Murray Bridge's rail bridge, which was installed in 1927. Actual date may not have been accurate. It was after the actual road bridge, and here it is, the rail bridge, folks. An addition, an addition to Murray Bridge. Bamskitty. Bamski, Bamski. That's the first pylon. If you cut cast, if you cut cast, if you cut past here, you'll see we're now back in between the bridges where we were before. We missed out of the stream right at the top there. So there's the rail bridge. And there's a little rainbow. What a lovely scene. And there's the actual bridge. Looks like we're gonna be walking along. At some point, we'll be engaging that bridge. And we'll go the other side this time. We'll see if it's a little wider. Now this is concerning. This does say no through road here. It says no through road. I wonder if that's foot traffic as well, because we need to get up to the bridge. You see it? We're working out. Sunken PS Bejo. The bridges. That's a good shot. If you were taking a screenshot of this and you wanted to do like screenshots, the riverfront, the bridges. Now yeah, we continue our spiral along here and the wharf is closed. Sun sets behind, it's clean, it's beautiful. This guy's doing something. Hello. Morning. morning. That guy said good morning. It's not quite morning. So underneath us or above us is the bridge. From whence do we get up there? Here it is, folks. Here it is. That's the bridge we need to be on. I'm a little, oh, well, I guess we could spiral up here. I, I mean, I'm gonna just hike it up there, right? I guess so. I'm gonna just smash it up there, but I'll tell you what I gotta do. You're not gonna see it, but I gotta take a slash. So, I mean, I'm gonna give you a vista of the uh, bridge. Pretty much like this, or mainly like that. You can see the bridge there. You know there's a waterfall over here though? That's amazing. I was never sure of that, that there were waterfalls in Murray Bridge. You know, I mean, I guess you can hear the, the, tr the cars passing by my window.
waterfall here in Murray Bridge. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's temporary. It's every now and then, swish. Let's cruise up here. We're gonna actually scale this. It's not gonna be fun though. Uh, is there an easier way? Nope, it's just gonna be a case of going straight up. Straight up. Oh, there's a bridge, oh, there's a, what is, oh, wow, there's a path here, huh? Okay. Well, that answers that question. We could have just gone along there. Now, I could either go around here. Oh, yeah. oh this is a good scene. Look at this. Look at that view. Murray Bridge. Murray Bridge Bridge. That's beautiful, right? Isn't it? And the birds is tweeting. That's awesome. No shit. I just missed a mountain biker dude going down. Hey, I man. missed it. I missed it. Damn. He just came fanging down from up there and I missed the whole thing. Bugger. Okay, well there you go folks, under the bridge downtown. This is where I uh, drew some umness. Should we check the chat here? Is this a good spot to check the chat? See if we got it. Do we have any charge? I guess I should. Oh, I really want to see what you yahoos are talking about. So we're going to just stop here. Let's see if this has got any charge at all. <clears throat> Turn it on. Powering it up. You got the, the vista behind me. This guy knows that guy on the mountain bike. <clears throat> Something tickling my throat. Powering up still. That's a good sign though. Although my phone's very cold. It's been in my pocket. I'm hoping we get at least 10% charge. What's that? What's that over there? I'm not too sure. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Come back over here. Okay, so it's still powering up. Uh, put in your passcode. 5%, we've gone up from two to five, but it's still not charging. Okay, turn this off. Turn it off. All right, let's continue cruising. Let, um, I mean, let me put this away. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get to that rotunda at the end of the bridge and then we're going to stop there and I'm going to see if I can at least pull up the chat but we could walk up this little path here and that's going to go around to there or we could just walk up this I'm just going to go up the guts eh? I, don't... I was born in this country I can scale these rocks as a dingo took my shoes as I'm in ting tongs I'm in flip flops sandals jandals but that's just a silly path to do nothing Inst look at that light up there here we are, folks. And this is the bridge. Here we are. I'm not going to walk on the road, but I'm going to just show you what it looks like. Well, there's a car coming this way as well. All right, let's, let's start our trek on the bridge. The Bridge of Murrayness. That's a nice shot, right? Like straight down the guts. Where's the light, though? We've got to be on the same street. Isn't that nice? Beautiful, right? I mean, I could sit here for a while, but I'm not going to, but that is nice. That is very nice. Birds tweeting. Murray River just flowing precariously. No, Murray River just doing its thing behind me, underneath me, over me. Look at that. Beauty Mucum. Hey, either way, um, I will get to the chat at the end of this stream. The idea is that I'm sort of letting it recharge itself and at some point it will get to the point where it's like, yeah, no, we've got a bit of battery to check the chat. 
So I'm not I'm not denying you, I'm not declining you, but I'm just kind of trying to like do the best I can with what I've got. It's called an iPhone 7 Plus. Thought I'd show you that car or that truck. The dog was barking and it was interesting. Why? I don't really know. Still, again, no one on this bridge. Look, look, here we are. So we, we're, we're going to look through here. We were sitting kind of through there, and now we're over here. And the light says it's getting less. So I crank the ISO. And everybody was happy. And here comes the oncoming vehicles. I think this is the speed camera. They didn't. They didn't have their brake lights on. They, they weren't concerned. They were like, what is that? Not a speed camera. Look at this Vista. Look at this. Look at that. Are you looking? Tell me you're looking. Don't look at me. Keep looking over there. Look at that. Look at the sky up there. You got a little pink activity. What? That is awesome. Australia, mate. Hashtag hell yeah. Hashtag fair crack of the whip. That's beautiful, right? That, I mean, that's a good sunset. Starting to be anyway. I mean, it, yeah, it could get better. I'm gonna stop in front of this light and see if it's gonna look any better. Check this out. And the moment the light is above me, so therefore when we hit this angel, you should see a bit of light in the left frame and that coloring. Pretty much like that. Look at that. Dude. The hell? What a space. I mean, at this particular juncture, I just want to observe. Permission to spit off the edge? Hawk your gut, Zuck. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, I know that you guys in the chat would be loving this, right? Surely. It's not just me seeing this. I know, I'd, I'm apologizing that I'm not engaging and conversing with you, but I know that you're seeing it and you're like, dude, that's pretty cool, right? I get it. I get it. I understand it. I just can't converse with you. Not my, not my ideal situation, which is kind of strange because yesterday, the, or not yesterday, the day before, the exact opposite happened. My phone stayed charged. The whole time. I, I, I was even commenting, I was like, I can't believe my phone's... It was at 100%. Like, my phone remained... Today, it's the complete opposite. It's like, nah, not charging. Cable says no. 25 bucks for that cable too. Port Adelaide, thank you very much. Anything to see? Not changing too rapidly. We're now at the, uh, almost the edge of the water here. So we're back on uh, almost dry land of this bridge. And to answer the question I had earlier, no, this side is the same as the other side. They're both quite narrow. If a bike dude came along here, I'd have to be, hello, I will give way. You have the right of way here, bike guy, and I will give way. But that's not gonna happen right now, but it's notable. Very nice. Oh, look at this. All this moss on here. It's like it's lichen. It's all mossy. Sunset in your life. That's pretty nice, man. You want to get a higher angel? Let's get a higher angel. Look at that. Isn't that nice views? You know what? You got the better view there. It's got my hideous head plus that behind it. That's a that's a win-win. I'm just looking ahead at these lights. There's not much to see in front, but you're getting the better the better vista. I can hear frogs. Frogs is croaking in the distance.
The Murray River, folks. I'm glad, I'm glad I got to show you that, right? I showed you the Murray. I showed you the Murray River. Something I'm not very familiar with, and we all learned about it together. And we enjoyed it. We drank beer. We uh, hung out with some locals. We hurled into the water multiple times. We talked about D-Live. We saw a dude fishing that caught nothing. He had no English. It was interesting how the conversation was, let's just call it stilted. And we had a good time. And now we're gonna get back to the other side of town. And I guess I'm gonna put on my light. Check my chat, put on my light, and then we'll walk up and see what happens. The stream will probably die, right? Well, well no, the stream might die because we're no way, we're still good with all the towers, but I'm gonna wrap it up at some point. There's like, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll ask you guys, if you want me to keep streaming, I'll stream, but we're just walking home. And I don't want to dox James's address, so there's that as well. But we're still fit. we're still a good way away from there, but at some point I'll be like, you know what, this is James's address, and I'm not here to dox him, so we're gonna have to wrap it up. But that's a long ways away, we're still gonna, we're just calm, calm your tits, we've got a long ways to go. See if they think it's a speed camera. <laughs> trickster, you little trickster. The simple things, right? The simple things. Sunset. Dude, that looks awesome. Wow. Wow, super peaceful. I just Wind dropped off as well. Feels. That's nice. Mayonnaise! Wow! Wow! Murray Bridge. I thought Murray Bridge was the person's name. Dale Ski. Dale Ski. So wrong, yet so obvious. No, not obvious. Understandable. Understandable. A, 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 a confusion or a miss. An obvious. An obvious mistake. Ah, here we go, folks. We're about to turn on this bridge. I showed you before when we did this walk. Uh, by the way, are we losing light here? Let's let's crank the ISO up a little. That's down. Get a little bit, little bit more ISO. That's 16. I think we said 1600 is the max we do on this, so we've just hit all the maxes. We're down to a 30th of a second F4 1600, but this is the spiral on the bridge that turns. So from this edge, we now start turning around on this bridge. And if you understand, or if you remember from when we first did this walk, if we look back this way, it's a straight line all the way down. That's a straight line, except for pretty much from this point. Once we get around, get, let's, let's extenuate it slightly and then I'll show you how it does look. So we pretty much, it's like you're walking on a beach, you don't know the beach is curving. Yeah, so this biatch is already curved. Look, so it's, yeah. Uh, I guess what I'm illustrating is this bridge isn't straight. whoop de woo Big whoop de woo Ah, oh, big spider web. Dude, that was massive. That was such a strong web too. It like grabbed onto me. That spider web grabbed my arm. Hey, what's this? That's littering. Oh, there's a spider right there. Yeah, that's, that spider web grabbed onto my arm and held my arm. It's almost like, no, you're not walking there, dude. That's a strong web. There's heaps of spiders here. Wow. No wonder there was them when we came here. And I was like, oh, I broke a web. That means no one's walked here. No, it just means there's heaps of spiders. Either way, we are almost at the end of the freaking bridge, and when we get to the end, we gotta cross the road, which wouldn't be a problem. Wouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. The rotunda's got its name all over it. I hope we have a charge on my phone, I really do. I want 10% minimum. Minimum 10%. I wanna I want see the chat, that's, we got a bit of light coming up here, folks. A little bit of street lightage. Oh, 
By the way, before we go any further, Brad Hartman's a dog cunt. In case you were wondering, Brad Hartman's a dog cunt. I mean, these don't lie, these signs, right? Like, these are, these are legitimate, these signs. So this is the bridge, and we're crossing the street. And we're gonna remember, Brad Hartman's a cunt dog. And here is uh, pretty much, we walked, so we walked, we walked all the way down there and we came back from this way, but this is the bridge and there's the bridge port and blah, 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 bling, blah, bling. And up here, which is where we sat before, the rotunda. And we will sit there and at the moment, I am forcing my finger up my nose. I am picking a winner. You do not need to see this, but I am absolutely... There's one there. There's a big booger, and i got to get it. So I'm going to turn you around again, and I am going to crank this out. Oh, got it. Hell yeah. That feels heaps better. You don't need to see that, but that... You, whoa, whoa, you don't pick your nose? Oh, of course, you're the only one in existence that doesn't do it. Of course you are. You shove your finger up there. Admit it, acknowledge it, deny it, love it, live it. Okay, here we are, folks. The rotunda. Put you uh, in a position that you can see behind. Pretty much like that, actually. Take this off. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put a light on, of course, here. Let me get, let me get a light out. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of manipulation here. The manipulation is going to include a light source. Oh, there's mosquitoes here too. Ah, got him. Get that off there. Ah, oh, what was that noise? Shit. I mean, I guess that was just like the rotunda settling and after all this wind we've had, you know? That's got to be what it was. Dude, there are mosquitoes up the wazoo here. First port of call. Put on this light. So you guys can see my hideous head. Got him. And we need the... Oh, wow. Okay. That came off. Something came off. Oh, it's right there. That was handy. Is that what I need though? Oh no, I lost a... No, I've lost a um... Bugger me hooters. I've lost a um, cold shoe. Let me check if it's in here. Let me check. Nah, I've lost the cold shoe. Dang it. That reminds me to, I've got to buy this cage. There's a, a GH5 cage you can get. I'm going to buy one. Instead of using a, a dual band, this Yahoo, I'm going to get a... So how am I going to do this though? Okay, that might work. Okay, I'm going to take the microphone off. You're going to lose microphone power. Oh, wait a second. Ah, oh, my phone's on 3%. I thought it would have got some more. It's... Ah, oh, this sucks balls. Nah, okay, this isn't going to work. I'm not going to get a chat here. Damn it. Okay, that's charging. That's charging. Just leave it there for a second. Turned off. Probably doesn't help that I'm moving around with it. Okay, I'm taking this microphone. So you're gonna get, this is just regular GH5 audio right now. I'm just gonna loosen this. Oh, that's so tight, hold on. So I took the microphone off. And I'm gonna slide, oh, this isn't gonna work though. This doesn't work like that. Hold on a second. Two things. I've got to get a new phone and I've got to get the GH5 
um, cage. A cage for a GH5. Ah, oh, shit. Something's biting my foot. Oh, man. I don't have my um, bug repellent here because I couldn't fly with it, so I didn't bring it, but I'm getting absolutely dialed here. It's going to work, though. Okay, that goes on there. And then I am I am insisting on getting some chat here. I'm I'm not streaming without a chat. I'm gonna get a chat. Oh that's oh no. That ow oh, hammered like holy mosquitoes. Oh that's not gonna work, dude. Okay, so this isn't gonna work for me. getting nailed by mozzies. Like, there's hundreds of them all over me. Seriously. Wow, dude. That's incredible. Okay, so that's not going to work. Um, what are we going to do then? How come I've lost a piece of this thing? You really suck. It should be in my bag. I didn't undo it. It's all I'm done. I don't understand. It's not fair. I didn't do it. I got my chat. I got stickers. I got a wind sock. I got a lens cap. I got a. I got a, um, a rubber band. I don't have a cold shoe though. I can feel it. I got a hundred mosquitoes going to town on me. All right, that sucks. So instead, what I'll do, I'm gonna not use my microphone. I'm gonna just use a light. Fuck you. I'm just using a light. There's no microphone. I'm using the GH5 microphone. Oh man, I'm getting bitten right now on my chin and on my leg. Holy microphone, Batman, mosquito loving lava. Unbelievable. And this doesn't tighten. What? All right, this is all kinds of wrong right now. Ah! I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here pronto. Why is this? Okay, so this light screwed up as well. Dude, you've no idea how many mosquitoes are here. It's chronic. Okay, let me put this in. Whinge, whinge, whinge. Blah, 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 blue. So that lights on. That means effectively this thing's useless and I still don't have a chat. We're gonna keep walking until we have to absolutely end this at some point. I was thinking of sitting here in the chat, but there's no way, there's no way in hell I'm sitting here. There's no way in hell I'm sitting here in this in this mosquito infested area. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm getting drilled. We're not using this mic anymore. We're just using onboard GH5 mic. Is it even working? Yeah, we've got a level meter there, we're good. That's ridiculous. I can't believe it, man. There's mosquitoes up the wazoo right here. Holy shit, dude. All right, let's continue on. And I'm sorry again for the chat. I thought maybe here would be the place I could converse with you, but oh no. I don't have any insect repellent and they're all over me. So let us get out of here. At least we have a light. Hopefully this is charging still. It's on 5%. Okay, I'm gonna place it gingerly in my pocket and hopefully we're good. Ah. So how's the GH5 onboard mic? Is that gonna be appropriate? Dude, this, just get me out of here. That was ridiculous. Every, that was so bad. You've no idea how bad that was. Every time I stopped, there was just a mosquito going, yep, I'm taking you, I'll have you. But we have light now, we have light. We don't have a great microphone, but we have light. We have a great vista behind me. Still got mosquitoes. Shit, let's just, let's just move fast so the mosquitoes can't do anything. 
don't need the hat on, but I thought it might have been protection. That was outrageous. That was an outrage. Yeah, Murray Bridge. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. Am I too bright here? We drop that down a little. Yeah. No, too much. Too little. Too much? Too little. Too much? Ah! The idea is not to stop, dude. Hold on a second. As soon as you stop, the mosquitoes are like, oh, there's a human. Which begs the question, what the fuck were they eating when I wasn't here? How come whenever you stop walking, the mosquitoes just infest you? Does that mean that they've been starving before? Like if, if I turn up and they're like, oh yeah, that's cool, that's food. So you just were waiting? How often do you, how long do you wait? Mosquitoes. Crazy times. I guess fair play, we were pretty close to the bridge, which is close to the water. So that would explain why there were so many mosquitoes there. But yeah. Either way, folks, that's Murray Bridge behind me. Murray Bridge Town. What a great day, what a great time. Still getting bitten here. We'll keep walking, we'll keep moving. But there will come a point where I will have to sort of pull the pin on the stream. My plan is to do it after checking the chat. I mean, it said 5%. Ideally, we get up to 10% and I can at least peruse the chat and say ta-ta to you yahoos. I would hate to just end the stream without acknowledging all the chats that I've missed. It's been about an hour, right, since I last saw the chat. Here's some light. <laughs> What was that noise? I don't know. They would have been like, what, 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 what? What's that light on the, what's that street light? How come there's a guy with a light on the street? Quick, call the cops. There's a guy with a light. Dude, there's one biting. Look, oh, you missed. Got one on my arm. Holy infestation. It's a nice skylight there, I hope you see that. Look at that. Oh shit, yeah, sunset stars. And this will be the last uh, IRL stream here in South Australia because I fly back tomorrow. So it's been fun, it's been great actually. Really glad we did this. Oh, I gotta go to the post and mail this battery back. That's the only thing I gotta do tomorrow aside from boarding a flight. Oh. I guess I gotta check my COVID entry requirements into New South Wales. Guess I'll do that as well. That's nice. I don't wanna stop though because that's when the mozzies get ya. Just gonna keep walking here. Yeah, the mosquitoes that only attack you when you're stationary. That was amazing. And not and like to be frank. Normally, I'd have repellent in my bag as part of my streaming back uh, As part of my streaming backpack, I have insect repellent But of course you can't fly with that so I had to remove it so I removed it and now I have none I'm in a place where I really need it and I have none There's a mosquito right there Dude Are they following me? You little sneaky fuckers I think they're following me they're like, nah, nah, that guy's great. Hey, we've been starving for months. And then all of a sudden there's this Yahoo with the skin and the blood from New South Wales. Let's get him. They're everywhere, man. Came right at me. But either way, folks, we're going to go back up this hill, cruising back up into town, or out of town, more so accurately. This is what it looks like. This is what I'm seeing. The street, the strasser. Destrasa, Distrasa. And mosquitoes. And cars. The cars hiss by my window. They do. Got some, I should be having it this way so you guys can see some skylight. A little bit of extra skylight in the situational awareness. And we're good. <laughs> I kind of want to check. I want to check. Should I check the chat as we walk? I'll try. Okay, I'm going to try to turn this on. See what happens as we. I'm not going to stop though. I'm going to keep keep walking. 
So, oh, we got the we're 9% battery, 9%. And it's still charging. Okay, that's good. Okay, go to DLive quickly. We're 9% and we're still charging. Something's working, right, at that point. So I'm gonna go, oh, I'm, I'm on my channel, all right. I can scroll back to a certain point here. Hendrick, that would make a great, oh, my, can't stop. That would make a great long exposure. Nigel, the local bad boys. Twin fin in the house, g'day twin fin, how you doing man? You said it all, Port Adelaide equals pure evil. Port Adelaide equals pure evil. I was in Port Adelaide, I bought the cable from Port Adelaide, is that what you were talking about? Okay, okay. Zuski with a diamond, ice cream and a lemon. Brilliant stream dude, thank you. Dude, I can hit you, I can hit you with a triple freaking give. Much, 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 much delayed. The delay is my fault because of, you know, things. But I can definitely give you a freaking triple give, man. How will it look? It'll look kind of like this. Um, I guess it'll look sort of like this. Cheese is 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 Hey, Willie Otto, Blobber Bob's in the house. Hey, Blobber Bob, I didn't see you, man. I didn't see anybody because I was getting bitten by mosquitoes. Good to see you all. Zookski gifting a sub out to the chat. Zookski gifted a sub to Blobber Bob. Thank you, Zook. Much, much appreciation. Zookski, thumbs up. Okay, cool. Glad you got to see the chat gifts. G'day, Grammy. How you doing? So what I will do, true if IRL stream anything can happen. Yeah, that's yeah, it's very true. What I will do, I will turn this off, but I know that it's charging. So by the time we get to where we need to route the stream, at least I'll have battery. That's my plan. So it got to 10%, so that's really good. I'm stoked on that, like super stoked. There's not much to see here. We're just walking up the street and it's pretty dark anyway. So I'll just keep the stroll happening. Turn your high beams off, you flaming drongo. You're blinding my eyes. Yeah, and when we get up to probably the service station, we'll probably wrap it up there. There'll be light there and, you know, be a little more pleasant. So that's what we'll do. Wow, I can't believe how badly I got nailed with the mosquitoes. So many. That's funny. <laughs> We're almost at the top of the hill. You get a bit of a vista behind me, I guess. Sunset style, lights in the sky. It's interesting, like the other night when I pulled up to, where were we? We were just coming into Murray Bridge. I pulled into a service station and the chat refreshed all the way back. Like I could scroll back like an hour then just now, it only went to a certain point, and I'm like, what's with that? What's with this on the hill? These cars. What's those lights on the hill? See that? What is that? It's like UFOs. Oh, no, that's a speedway. There's a speedway. Oh, what was that, dude? Something big got me on the leg. Oh man. Whatever that was that hit me on the leg, it was not a mosquito, it was big. Something big flew into my leg. I didn't see it, I didn't, I mean I felt it. But yeah, there's a speedway over there, I think. <clears throat> He's going for distance. He's going for speed. 
don't need this hat on. I'm just doing it because it's better than holding it. Here we are, reaching the top. Good to get a hot day in Adelaide though, like first three days of being here it was like 12 degrees. Fuck, that's not summer man. Summer should be 30, minimum right, 30, 28, 30. Can you hear that? Here comes a big road train. Oh, my bad. That wasn't as big as I thought. It looked like a longer one. So we got like the speedway over there or something? Dude, getting bitten everywhere here. Check this. Look at that. That's what was confusing me before. That's a lot of light. That's a lot of light. A lot of light on the subject. Whatever they're doing over there, it requires a lot. They're streaming, they're live streaming. They need that light. I hope you got your air guard, your bug repellent, because I don't, I forgot it. No, I didn't forget it, I dismantled it. Very nice. Very nice to show you this. Happy to give it to you, have it with you, and enjoy it with me. It's good. It's very good. But here is the service station where I was planning on ending the stream. So we will get into this area and I will wrap this up here. I'm hoping I've got enough time to read the chat. I'm also hoping I have enough light to avoid absolute mosquito infestation. We'll see though. So it's going to happen up here because that's pretty, that's like three blocks from, you know, I just don't want to dox James. I don't want to put any, anything about his location aside from Murray Bridge, which you can obviously gather. But other than that, I don't want to like, yeah, we're just going to wrap it up up here. So let me find a good spot here to do this on this particular evening uh, we'll find a spot here guess we'll uh, take a take a little look what we got here oh yeah I got a spot here I'll put it up on this yeah perfect I'll park it up here. Oh no, there's music. There's music playing. Uh, so everybody speak really loud and talk over the music. We're gonna go down in there. Here we go. So, I'm gonna check this chat, right? Because if, if it's been working, we should have at least, we should be over 10% battery and then I can address a conversate of the chat 16% yeah 16% we're at right now okay so I'm gonna try to refresh the chat and we'll go all the way up and oh by the way I can put this off my back is that gonna reach there yeah cool, yeah, cool. okay so I'm free balling now like I'm stream is loose Loose is the best way to stream. We can probably angle that down, right? Yeah. 
Okay, cool, cool. All right, so let me bring up the chat here. I'm stoked that we got some time here to do this with the, the power. I hope that music isn't gonna give me a ding, 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 ding. Let's go back in the chat. Hendrix says, ate your foot. Bob, Bob. Hey, Willie Otto and the D-Livers, good to see you all. Zuski with the gift, I did see that, I saw that. Thanks you, great one, Zuski. Glad you got to the chat. True IRL stream, anything can happen. Thank you, I did see that comment. So that's where Zuski, we're now up to speed on the chat, which is giving me great uh, satisfaction. Uh, we're always told as a kid to wash our feet before sleep and jump under a mozzie net. I mean, in this country, it's actually not too bad right now, but it was terrible before. Sounds like a horse race. Could have been a horse race, Hendrik. Five hour walkabout, great stream. And it was, yeah, how long did we stream for? Yeah, we did a five hour stream. Yeah, it was cool. We went swimming, we walked, we drank. We had a good time. One one was a race horse, two two one one two. If one 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 race, two two one one two. I mean, I'm gonna have to go ahead and yeah. agree with you. Tutu did one one on the racehorse machine. Cohen with the ice cream, my Eunice, wow! Thank you, man. It's been a great stream, thank you, Charles, thank you. Hendrik with a diamond ice cream and a lemon. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna give you a triple freaking give, H man. Fuck yeah, love a good triple freaking give. How are we gonna do this? I guess there'll be a little dip in the, uh, they'll, Often you see a little uh, blah 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 bling blong blang. Uh, I think you see a blah bling blong blang blong bling. Triple freaking give. Uh, give me a second. Cheese is. Bees, ease, cheese, ease, knees, knees, ease, lease, keys, me, dees, ease, wees, tees, bees, It was a dog race. Knees, oh, was it really, Davo? Thank you, man. Zooksky with another gift of a sub to the channel. Zooksky, thank you so much. Ah. Thank you, Zooksky. Amari Bridge dog race. Yeah, okay. I mean, that makes sense. We are in Murray Bridge and there's a dog race going down. Well, what's gonna happen now is, uh, I guess I gotta do something. Um, problem is, I don't know how to do this. I mean, it's a Sunday and I don't even know if this even fucking works. I, um, I mean, I'm doing something, right? It's the end of the freaking week and I'm doing it, but I don't even know if it worked. Did it work? I opened the chest, I don't know. Ah. I've heard many stories the chest doesn't work these days. I thought I opened it, and then it said unknown error. So, is it opening? Is it, has it opened? I don't know. I thought it was opening. It said unknown error. Uh, did someone get a chest? Is there any chest action? Okay, there's mosquitoes right there. Unknown error. So, I guess the chest is gonna disappear. Did that chest open? Did anybody get a chesty chest? Did anybody get chest action? I hit it. So I guess nobody got the chest. Unknown error. Error, unknown error. I mean, this is the shit that really pisses people off about DLive, right? It's disabled at the moment. The chest is disabled. Sorted out, D-Live, it's broken. Okay. D-Live chests have been down for about two weeks. That's not true, Grammy, at all. We opened mine last Sunday. We opened them every week, and we opened it last Sunday, no problem. It's not working now, though. In that case, uh, unless anybody has anything really important to discuss, I'm gonna wrap this up here, because I'm a few blocks from James's place, and I don't wanna dox his address. So is everybody okay if I sort of say ta-ta, and we wrap this up? And I guess um, that chest will just disappear because uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow. I'll be in transit, but I will be back in back home on Tuesday. So um, at that particular juncture, I want to thank everybody who's been here for the last five hours. If you've been here with me on this stream, 
really, really kind. I appreciate you. Thank you. We have had a good time, I think. It's been fun for me. And we got to see a place that I'd never seen. I've never streamed before. So, yeah. Appreciate you all. And I appreciate the financial contributions. Even though DLive seems like it's dying right now, and we all know what's going on. Like, it seems like it's sort of on the way out, right? We know that. And you guys are still here supporting and contributing. I appreciate you. This makes a difference to me, right? This isn't... <laughs> You know this isn't cheap, right? It, to be, to be frank, the cost it cost me to send the battery to Adelaide, I haven't even made that up on these streams. So that price alone. So what I'm saying is, thank you. That's all I'm saying. Thank you for for contributing. If you enjoyed the content, tell all your friends, like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna wrap this up here before I get absolutely devoured. There's nothing left of me. And um, yeah, there'll be a couple of days delayed where I won't be streaming because I'm in transit and then I'll get back to regulation streams. There's a lot of cryptocurrency news to talk about on Wednesday. I've got a lot to talk about there. Pulse chain must be super close. Bitcoin is dropping. Pulse dropped. Uh, sorry, uh, Hex dropped. Everything's dropping. I'm going to pick it back up and we'll have a good discussion. I'll see you all on those streams. Right now, though, it's going to be ta-ta from me. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be ta-ta from me and ta-ta from Murray Bridge and then consequently ta-ta from South Australia. Three streams. If you didn't see them, they're in my replays. Go back and check them out. We did three streams. We did a Murray Bridge Sunset River session, Jack Daniels tasting. We also did Glenelg, where I used to live. These are all in my replays. Murray Bridge, Sunset, Glenelg, and then today's stream. Three separate IRL streams from here, South Australia, a place I used to live, a place I still hold quite close to my heart. Happy to have shared it with you. James may be watching. James, thank you for everything you've done on this trip. Thank you for booking me to come out here and do this photo shoot with you. Thank you for the hospitality, housing, the accommodations, the food, everything that you've done. And obviously this goes rhetorically that that's welcome on the other side if you come my way anytime. I don't have a business. I don't have a, I don't install playground equipment. Maybe you could start doing it in Sydney and uh, anyway, anyway, it's been fun. So let's wrap this chisel up here. Peace everyone. Thank you, Pertsky. Pertsky, it's good to have you here. Thank you, man. No worries, dudes. Keep strong and have a good one all. Love, tender care. TC, talk later, talk later. Just an FYI, not here for the lemons, love. Thank you, Grammy. Cheers, Bannon, and chat. Thank you, Hendrik. So I guess what I've got to do here is uh, slap that mosquito off its ass and end the freaking stream with a little... There's always a little delay latency here, so if I press a button, it won't make any sense until I give a little latency. So here we go. I'm going to give latency.